Uh, we live? Veldak? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're again. doing well. Let's get started with KSP2, shall we? As I was going to say Jebediah, but some Kerbin uh, waves at us. Um, I haven't played a second of this. What the? I thought I fixed this. Uh, all I've done is fired up the game, looked into the options menu a little bit. Um, apparently anti-aliasing is on maximum, but the diagonal lines are still pretty sparkly, shall we say. But it's early access. What you can ex what can you expect? Other than a price point that's ten times smaller than the currently is. All right, let's uh, see what we've got, shall we? Start a new campaign. I thought there wasn't. I thought there was no. Uh, okay, I, I've tried to stay somewhat ignorant of this, but I thought there was no. Um, science or career mode or anything. Maybe there isn't. Game difficulty... Um, I wonder if this is tweakable later on. Well, I'm sure we could just restart or something. We definitely want revert and quick load. Uh, probes require comnet for control. Ooh! They're building, building this into the game this time. Oh, actually, I think KSP1 eventually integrated something like remote tech, but it was kind of not as good. Um, stream. West Lee? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. As I notice, my mix it up hasn't launched. Sorry about that. Let me just make sure it's working. Uh, agency name... Ooh, we got flags. What? What the... No. Don't steal focus from the game. Alright, is this thing working? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Holy fucking shit, the recommended specs are insane. Yes, yes they are. Um, all right, what sort of flag should we go with? Um, hmm. <laughs> this one. Perfection. Let's see what else there is. I wish I could see these a bit more close up than in this little corner up here. What is this? Cthulhu? Oh, it's the Kraken. Perfect. Not sure what this one's about. Uh, honestly, I don't want something too weird on the side of my spaceships. Something recognizable and clean. Um, I don't know. Presumably you'll be able to make your own flags. Let's just go with this little guy. Can't make your own flag? Um, you probably can if you, like, import an image or something. There's probably a folder somewhere or something, but in the game, I'm not seeing it. Batboy not so slim, Bilbo, Twisty P, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Three-year-old specs are insane, doesn't compute? I mean... If you're loaded, I suppose. Alright, this'll do for now. Um, let's start. 
and didn't see any options for like science or career mode or anything so it sounds like maybe that's not actually a thing just out of myself I have a 5600x and a 3070 I shouldn't need to upgrade every time there's a new GPU yeah no kidding This is quite the load time. Treating Kessler Syndrome. Well, you shouldn't need to be looking at a new PC every year anyway. That was the bad old days. It generates a ton of waste. We got video. Your new space program, leaping forward into the cosmos. Since the dawn of Kerbal Kine, we have looked to the sky and wondered what sublime mysteries lie hidden in the darkness, like jewels never beheld. Digging the cosmos. These vibes. untold treasures may soon reveal themselves. Due to the efforts of recently founded Kerbal Space. Uh, uh, oh my. I think that might have been the only copy of the orientation film. Hold on! Slides! Uh, somewhere! Uh, um. Welcome to your first day running the Kerbal Space Program. This campus hosts the greatest ever gathering of astronomers, astronauts, and engineers. After years of focused effort, this collection of geniuses has created several very impressive buildings. <laughs> we believe we have all the necessary pieces to take our first steps off the ground. The best way to advance our technologies further is to get up there and learn by doing. All we need now what is somebody to show us how to put all these parts together. Well, we also need somebody to help us out with the flying. We need a lot of help, actually. That's why you're here. My name is Paige, by the way. If you need any hints, feel free to visit me over at the training center. Everything in there is well padded, so it's a great place to get up and running. Welcome aboard! Okay. Welcome to the KSC. What do we got here? That is kinda laggy. Campus has everything you need, blah blah blah, continue. Our engineers have created a training program that will guide you through building and flying your very first rocket. Alright. Into the VAB. It has been quite a while since I played some KSP. Um, so I guess we've just got everything unlocked from the start. It's not like career mode or something, so we're going to have an awful lot of choices. Let's do something basic to get started. Three seat command. How about the small one? Yeah, the... The frame rate leaves much to be desired, just sitting in the VAB. These, these are the default graphical quality settings that it set itself to. Maybe it's capped or something. Um, well, if there's an option there, I'm not seeing it. Maybe this is just 60. It might be 60. Alright, what else have we got? Uh, get rid of that. Let's get ourselves some kind of fuel tank. Solid fuel booster, sure. And we could just go with that. Let's, let's try a parachute. 
where do we find parachutes? Utility. Which one of these attached to the small one? Obviously not this. That is the Mark 16 XL. What? Page, go away. Yeah, you're, you're blocking the view. This is the parts picker, yes. Yes, it is. Command pod, engine, fuel tank. Yes. We got a favorite system. We got some kind of video. The assembly marked with the green icon is your launch assembly. It is what goes out the door when you select launch. Oh yeah, this I did see. Uh, apparently you can work on like several vehicles at a time in the one workspace. Um, well, that's actually pretty neat. Use the engineer's report to see how your vehicle will perform. Engineer's report. Uh, it would be very helpful if I could move this around. Thrust to weight, total mass, dry mass, number of parts, height, width, length. Are we not... we're not saying Delta V? Are we waiting for mods for Delta V this time as well? Rut row. Uh, you obviously want a thrust to weight ratio above one, yes. Trip planner. Ooh. Okay, it it has destination delta V, but f maybe maybe it'll say how much delta V the vehicle has somewhere else. Oh, it does down here. Fantastic, sixteen hundred fifty-five meters per second. Beautiful. All right, curb and low orbit. Et uh, estimated delta V thirty-four hundred. We're obviously not getting there. That's fine. Evil Pla, Zern, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm kind of sad they didn't release the early access with career mode on. Yeah. It definitely gives you something to focus on little by little. Um, Alright, so Trip Planner, that's actually really cool. Um, do I actually get to, like, bop, destination delta V? Do you know a shortcut? I don't. How do I... Oh, here we go. Kerbin, bop, res. So, it's not going to tell you what you could get it down to if you, say, use 17 gravity assists. But, no, that's actually really handy for, like, a, for a basic plan. Very nice. Select the launch button. As long as your vehicle fits completely within the VAB, it'll be moved out to your chosen launch location. Training center teaches everything from basic rocket construction or building mechanics. Very good. I might spend some time over there, not just because I haven't played KSP in a very long time, but I want to have a look at... how do I remove this? There we go. Uh, I want to have a look at how much better it probably is or isn't at getting someone acquainted to begin with. There's our Mark 16 parachute. I already hate the beep boop UI sounds. Can I turn them off? Uh, audio. UI sounds. Actually, yes. Yes, we can. Easy as that. Fantastic. All right, um, do we need like a clamp or something? Or is it gonna like awkwardly stand 
What, what's it called? The big red uh, arm that holds onto the... It holds onto the vehicle before it launches. Coupling um, structures. Launch clamp. Did I did I not type clamp? I did type clamp. Clamp. Launch clamp. It's exactly what I was looking for. All right. And what? What? Why is it? facing the wrong way. Is that going to be a problem, or is it supposed to be like that? That looks... That looks very weird. Did I rotate it somehow? Um... I think that's going to cause a problem. Fantastic, good audio settings indeed. Templar Warden, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, let me just check the keys real quick for a vehicle assembly building. OAB? Uh, delete, cycle, symmetry, forward, X or shift, X. Don't think that's what we need. Toggle angle snap. That might be something we're looking at. Disable stack attach. Well, let me try these one at a time instead of trying to remember them. It's definitely not this. It seems like this is how it's supposed to go. Uh, input. Uh, reset part orient. Rotation is space. Oh, there it is. I did rotate it somehow. Space resets it. Cool, cool, cool. And how did I mess it up in the first place? Uh, let's see. Center camera in VA. It has to be something like down the left. Where my hand might have been. Copy, search parts, paste, undo, redo. Maybe it was like X or something. No, we tried that. Yeah, I don't know. Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Have you played the first KSP? Indeed I have. Not for a very long time, but I did quite a bit with it. I didn't do as many inter, uh, interplanetary mi Ooh, you can look in the cockpit. I didn't do as many interplanetary missions as some people, but I did all sorts of things like um, a lot of SSTOs, uh, VTOL, Jetcraft. I played around a lot with the... What was that mod called? Kerbal Operating System. The last thing I was working on was a craft... I was cheating infinite fuel, uh, and the idea was to make a fly-by-wire system which would just be impossible to crash. It would interpret your inputs and look at the terrain and, like, decide what to do about it. Wazda used to rotate parts in the VAB. Let's see, copy this. Oh, I thought... I thought C was copy. Uh, okay. Let me just grab another one. Wazda? SSS. That might have been it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I better hit S or something. Cool, cool, cool. Vin Mars? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Must have mit, uh, visited Minmus. Uh... Yes, indeed. Now we've got further than Duna. Yeah, I think uh, that was about the same. Partly because I played a lot of career mode, and career mode has you checking in on 
vehicles that are doing shorter range missions all the time. Why can't I snap this to... What was that, um... What was that button that would, like, snap it or not? I want to learn these so that I don't wonder later on. Later on. Toggle angle snap. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. And then how about some control surfaces? Small? Oh my goodness. That's not so small. Uh, are we having symmetry problems? Oh, I see. Bilbo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, um, I'm gonna want some. How about three of these? The bare minimum for radial symmetry. Um, and I might have to move those other clamps. We can make these smaller, right? How do I... How do I edit the wings? Oh, here we go. Wingspan? Nice, nice. Wing angle. Uh, root length. Not what... Wait, what I'm looking for? Root thickness. Probably not that. I'm really just looking for some fins that I can use for control surfaces here. Can we move them up and down while we're editing the wing? How do I jump out of the editor? Control surface on. Fantastic. Length. All of it. Actually, that might be ridiculously sensitive. How about this? What, and what is this doing? I see, I see. Alright. So, escape. It's not getting us out of this. Can I now move this up a bit? Is it? Did it just reset my settings? No, I don't think it did. Let's get rid of this for the moment. And I want... No, 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 no. And furthermore, how dare you. I want to make this a little smaller. Uh, length? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Root length? Not quite. How can I bring it in a bit more? There we go, wingspan. So pretty small wingspan, root length, uh, root thickness we don't want. That's closer to what I had in mind. Cool. And then chuck one of these here have three of them, why not? It's not like we have a budget. Vehicle fly safe. <laughs> Perfect. Kerbal manager, action group. Uh, how about our staging? Check our staging on our very first craft. We probably don't want the, uh, the parachute on the same stage as the rocket, as it turns out. Can I move up and down with the camera? How do I... How do I do that? I really want to move... Vertically, my view. Center camera in VAB is home. Uh, and then? Fast scroll modifier is shift. Oh, do I need the scroll wheel to go up and down? No. That's what I was trying to do. Paste, copy, assembly, undo, camera fast. Uh, how do I move the camera up and down? Just 
Factorio is known to eat all your free time if you get hooked. Yes, indeed. I was looking forward to playing some more today, but it turned out to be KSP day. Not sure how I'll do my schedule in the near future. I mean, we'll still be doing plenty of Factorio. No worries there. So does anyone know how I move the camera up and down in the vehicle bay? Can I not do that? Welcome to the self-help group. <laughs> or like self-harm group if we're talking Factorio addiction. Um, up, down, left, right, WASDA, shift, control, scroll wheel, no. Uh, I guess this is fine. Let's just give it a go, shall we? Launch. Are you ready to fly? Indeed. Okay. Oh, wow. That frame rate, though... That is actually really nasty. Can we do something about that? I do love how games will default you on the highest settings when they detect budget GPU. Um, let's drop these down to nothing. Uh, you know what? Where's the... Wasn't there, like, a presets somewhere? Quality presets. How about medium? Is it not going to change everything? Hold on. Reset graphics. Yes. And then... Medium presets? Maybe turn off double A? See what that's like. Is that going to apply straight away? That's a little bit better. Oh, that's a lot better, actually. Although, considering this is the... You know, the very first launch with nothing going on, that still doesn't bode well. At all. Let's see what it looks like on... Lower settings. Where am I going? Graphics. Now, will it or will it not look like us on low settings. Not really, but it didn't really get any smoother. Unless it... I was going to say unless it requires a restart, but I don't think that's the case because this improved immediately when we went to medium. In plain case P1, I don't think I'm going to get this yet. Yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't. Uh, if I wasn't streaming it. Not at, not at all. I think they're really taking the piss with the price. Um, alright, so this is our flight cluster down here. You can see just from the skittish jumping around of the... What is this? The, um... I forget the word for it, but it's giving us our heading then our frame rate's a bit better. Here you can speed up or pause time. Very nice. You can still move your camera and interact with part functions when you're paused. Very good. This is your staging stack. Staging stack? Oh, this thing. I thought it was pointing at this. Yeah, I was trying to fix that, actually. Here we go. We need... The last thing that happens to be parachute. And I think I would prefer to turn the engine on at the same time as we decouple these. Remember the first stage is at the bottom of the stack, indeed. Is it space to stage? If you'd like to learn to fly in a safe simulated environment, be sure to check out the training center. Who would ever want a safe environment? Um, 
All right, is it Z for maximum throttle? Z and X? Yes, it is. I can't remember... Is it like... I can't remember buttons other than Z and X for throttle. Uh, or have any idea if they're different. But... It'll be fine for now. This is KSP. If things aren't exploding, you're not doing it right. Shift or control. There we go. Fantastic. That actually feels a little bit familiar. Glacier Wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And it just makes me want to download KSP1 again. Oh, no. Yeah, hopefully it'll turn out to be pretty good eventually. Um, Alright, what do we got? I think we should just go, right? Get our maiden voyage underway. What's the staging button? Enter? It's not enter. Is it space? I think it's space. Oh, did they do a conlang? I would be very impressed if they went that far. How much fuel do we have? We're down to half already. Rip Bill? Nah, he's fine. What's our, um, what's our peak? 40k only. Oh my god. I thought the I thought the frame rate would improve as we got away from the space center. It is it is not improving. It is definitely not improving. It's okay if we look away from the planet. Um Maybe I should turn down terrain Textures and clouds in particular, I suppose. What is this? What are these beams ahead of us? Are we already dropping? How do I go to map view? There we go. No, yeah, I didn't think we would be dropping yet. So why do we have, like, streaks that are in front of us like that? You know, I think on this trajectory... We might not have much need of our little air control fins here. Also, why is it spazzing out like that? There we go. Uh, the map view looks beautiful. Absolutely. Very nice. Very, very nice. Apoapsis at 116k. Minecraft clouds looks kind of cute. It... There is no excuse for this kind of frame rate for just looking down at the planet with so little detail, though. That's... Mm -mm. Alright, can we EVA? This is the map view. Yes, it is. Feel free to zoom and double... Double click to focus on any object, holding middle mouse down will allow you to freely move the camera. Reset the camera with home. Nice. I don't seem to remember having quite this level of control. And home. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. Alright, we're running out of time. Can we EVA? Uh, if you select a point at the vehicle's trajectory, blah blah blah. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Shoot. All right. How do we EVA? Right click. Uh. Uh. Do we click on the carbon? We do click on the carbon. Nice. Um. How much time do we have? We've got like a minute, I think. Can I? Space to let go? Space to grab again? No. How do, how do I 
How do I grab? F, F, F. Okay. How do I activate the jetpack? Kerbal is now outside of your vehicle during EVA. You can move around or deploy your jetpack. Jetpack off. How... What? How do I... Is it J? No. Grab is F, B is board. Okay, let go space. I can't remember the jetpack controls and it's not giving me any hint. Oh. There we go. Okay, let's... How do I go up? Oh crap, oh crap, oh no. Can I orient this way? Uh-oh. Maybe I should pause it. <laughs> uh, controls... Flight... Where's EVA? Walk left and right, strafe... Uh, forward back... Translate up, down... Left shift and left control. That's not too unreasonable. Rotate your center camera in VAB. Why is this here? Rotate roll JL. IKJL. Maybe this is labeled wrong. Run and jump. Alright, alright. So shift and control. Uh, how do I recenter camera? There we go. Shift. Fantastic. Should probably rebind that if I'm instinctively reaching for space. Uh, what, 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 what do you... No. No. Alright, here we go. Board. Say goodbye to Bill? Nah, it's fine. Is it R for RCS? How much time do we have? Oh, I paused it. No pause. Yeah, we're we're running it. Uh, we're a bit short on time. Um, for my confidence in the controls at this point. That unaligned text in the yellow box. I didn't see it. Do we have? Oh, I forgot to keep some fuel. Hmm. Uh, I guess we can try to angle ourselves up a little bit to slow down. It might almost begin to appear like it might even save Bill. We got reaction wheels, yes indeed. Uh, how about we orient this like it was a plane? Actually, is that going to have us upside down? I'm going to get confused. Yeah. Alright. We're in the atmosphere, so if we could put this thing side on... We should slow down a bit faster. Or by slow down, I mean our velocity should go a bit more sideways than straight down. Actually, it'll give us more drag as well. It depends on what the atmosphere is like in this. Oh, I'm pulling up as fast as I can. It's still dipping. Uh-oh. Can we swing with it? Yeah, it depends on if the atmosphere is like thick soup, like vanilla KSP1 used to be. But if it's not... What's our speed? Oh, oh good, it's only a thousand meters a second. We'll, we'll be fine. And it'll drop down in no time. How much altitude do we have left? 6k. Oh good, we're heading for the mountains as well, so we'll have even less 
thick atmosphere to try and slow us down. It's fine. You can always do more training. Came in a little hot. Nah. First voyage successful. Definitely not thick soup indeed. A little hot. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, I was turning as fast as it would. Parachute unable to deploy. Yes. It, it would refuse to deploy at that speed. I, I was trying. Nice FPS crash. Yeah. I'm beyond unimpressed at how this runs. Um, alright. Revert to launch. Let's do it at a bit more of an angle. See how far we can get. Akeo, Dekna, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just released so very early, indeed. Alright. Um, where should we aim for? Well, we're probably facing west, uh, east, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just pitch down and try and try and make this thing go as far as possible. Ooh, we could set target. Oh, that's for the planet? What is... I thought that just popped out. Terrestrial planet, set target, focus. Ooh. Wait, what? Where, where are we? Oh, we zoomed in too far. Cool, cool, cool. The planet from here, from the map view, looks really nice. Really does. Okay. Let's give this a go. Did we fix the staging? We did not. Uh, wait, this is a solid booster, isn't it? Uh, engine. RT-10. I'm pretty sure that's a solid booster. Can I see more information about it? Uh, I guess not. But yeah, uh, we can't actually do any fuel management for this one. So we'll just control our pitch. All right, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Fantastic. Um, I better try maybe setting the sh clouds, water. I can't see the texture quality anywhere for, like, the terrain anywhere. Uh, I didn't get time to pitch down as much as I meant to. <laughs> Let's try that again. Actually, I have a better idea. How do we revert? Revert to VAB. Yeah, why does this happen, though? Why, if we're heading up, do we see streaks that go straight up? That has to be a glitch, right? Alright, revert to VAB. Probably a bug. Shadows, indeed. Mad Dame Salsa, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's a good description of what's happening for someone who knows zero about KSP? Uh, we're mucking about basically. We're just trying to launch some poor little green man in a little metal coffin, I mean spacecraft, uh, and have him come back alive somehow. Let me, let me rotate these around a bit. Oh, those, now they're huge again. What the hell? Hmm. 
No, that's fine. All right. And I want to take the whole thing. And was it... We don't want to snap to 90 degrees. What was that input? Toggle angle snap C? No. I just want to angle it like 45 degrees-ish. Then considered re-entry? Maybe. Um, how do I... But... Toggle angle snap, we tried that. Wasn't that what made it so that the clamp would snap different? Yeah, it was. Uh, do I have to, like, hold shift or something? There it is. Now I remember. Okay. I'm gonna grab all of this. We're gonna hold shift, and we're gonna press W a few times. And we're gonna launch it at about 45 degrees. And then... Uh, what was the symmetry thing? This is, this is looking a little bit awkward. Is it going to fix itself? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it is not. Um, how about this? Oh, that doesn't look promising. How do I switch it to, uh, between radial and... Yeah, there we go. Left and right symmetry. That looked like it wasn't B, what I'm going to be what I'm looking for, but that should be fine. All right, begin. All right, check the staging. And full throttle. It doesn't even matter what throttle we use. We're using a solid rocket booster. Love the Kerbal problem solving. Indeed. And go. A and go. Skip countdown. He could have sort of wrecked the, uh, the launch clamp, which is fine. set everything to the lowest settings. We'll see how that happens. I think we already did that though. It wasn't that much of an improvement. Well, that doesn't sound encouraging. How far are we going to get? That's north. I thought we were aimed to east. It's fine. Not as far as I thought we would, but then we're not aiming east. So there's that. This is so weird looking. How oh, so? Compass said 360. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Like, I just thought from in the vehicle assembly building, I set it up to face east. We're not going to break atmosphere this time. 45 degree launch looked weird, indeed. Not at all normal trajectory, nope. Alright, let's speed up time a little bit. Oh. It does... If you speed up time in the atmosphere, it does make the physics simulation a bit more wonky uh, and explodey. At least it did in KSP-1, so you want to be careful with that. 
I believe that's our Kerbin, uh, Kerbal rather, in the, that we can see through the cockpit. Uh oh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. We can parachute whenever we want. Are we going to make it over that mountain? Place your bets. It's definitely not reckless to try. Oh, I'm pretty sure we are going to get over it. Yeah, see, that looks like closer to what you'd expect. So, just to put it in perspective, um, just looking around at some terrain, this is the kind of frame rate we get on a system that can handle MechWarrior 5 Mercs on high detail pretty well 99% of the time. It is beyond not optimized yet. Alright, let's stage. I, I said let's stage. Oh no. Did I wait too long? Oh no. Um. Uh. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Escape didn't pause the game. Revert to VAB. I want to see the stats on the parachute. Depends on when you hit the chutes, indeed. Yeah, I think we had... Uh, I'm pretty sure it was green earlier. I think we had a window to open them. And then we got too fast. What if we put some actual wings on it? What if, what if we make a rocket glider? Completely different meaning now. Dilka, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. What what the what? No, it was just catching up with itself. Okay. Okay. Uh, the thing is, if I put long wings on it, we might get we might get a bit of trouble. Uh, starting off with a solid rocket booster. What's the worst that could happen? Let's just give it a try. I meant to edit that. Okay, if I center it here, and then we edit, uh, and then we edit. Okay. Wing angle. Wingspan. Much longer. I want, I want as much glide as we can get, but I feel like if we go too much longer, it's going to cause problems with the uh, with the rocket. We'll see. Maybe we'll start. Let's set the uh, rocket to actually. Is this the only setting I have here? I can't tell the RT10 to like burn at half speed. Hmm. It might be time to stop playing with the solid rocket booster. Not solid fuel? I'm pretty sure you could in KSP-1. Maybe that was a mod or something. Oh yeah, what's the stats on this? The Mark 16 parachute. Uh, impact tolerance 12 meters a second, max temp. Uh, I, I want to read the statistics. Is that it? It's not going to tell us the speeds at, and altitudes at which it can deploy? Shift view more. Okay. There we go. Max safe velocity, 247 meters a second. Semi-deployed, 2.8 kn. Oh, that's how much drag. Okay, so less than 250 meters per second. 
Little icons at the bottom, yes indeed. Middle click favorite. Alright. Um, these have the same speed tolerance. In fact, they all do. They all have to be below 247. Do we have an air brake? Uh, that's a no. Or at least not, not explicitly. There might be something that we could force to behave like an air brake, sort of. But I don't think it's going to work out that well. All right. Let's put this over here-ish. Uh, make it a bit smaller. And... edit. Where, where's the... There it is. Just want a little tail fin. Wingspan... quite low. Wing... angle? I feel like I'm missing something here. What am I looking for? Tip angle? I don't think that's it. What even is that doing? Not entirely sure. It's definitely not root thick. <laughs> Lol. I'm definitely not looking for root thickness here. Um, maybe I should probably play with the root thickness of these twigs, though, if they're going to be that long. Wing angle? That's probably it. Okay. That's still looking a bit sketch. Can I move it up? I want it to be a lot shorter, actually. That's not it. That's definitely not it. Uh, span and angle. Yeah, I can't really make it as finny as I had in mind. Oh, here we go. Stabilizer. Maybe I should use that. That's probably going to be more what I was looking for. Okay, can I make it a bit smaller? Um, angle. Span. It's still much bigger than I was thinking of. I thought it was weird to use a wing on a rocket. Of course it is. Maybe I should just use control surface. Oh, this is fine for now. Let's edit this and make the middle of it a bit thicker. What? Uh, that might not be the symmetry I'm looking for right now. Maybe I need to remove it? And put it back with wings, like uh, that type of symmetry mode. Keeps hiding it directly behind that window. Root thick. Yeah, no, that's um, that's probably not what we're looking for. Uh. I guess I'm using the wrong vehicle bay to make something like a plane. Let's just try this. I'm thinking the wings are too long for what I have in mind. Root length slider? Root length slider. No, I, that's not going to change the fact that on this side it's below, on this side it's above, I think. 
they're still separate buildings? Uh, buildings? Do you mean like parts? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure we can go to the... I don't know, that's a good question, actually. Alright, begin. Staging. <laughs> Revert to launch. <laughs> Success, <laughs> indeed. That's a lot of load screen to back to go back in time four seconds. Um, but yeah, there's a, at the very least there's like there's more places you can spawn a vehicle. Like there's one dedicated to water stuff. Um. So that's neat. I hope they'll put in some reasons to go under the water. Alright. Check your staging. Fantastic. What? 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 What, what just happened? Oh no. I thought I had to double click launch to skip the... <laughs> to skip the countdown. <laughs> that is one hardy parachute, and you're tell telling me it can't open at 250 meters per second? <laughs> Vomit comments, indeed. <laughs> is this the hazing ritual the Kerb uh, Kerbals have? Good gravy. I kind of wish I could switch to cockpit view, but apparent, uh, unfortunately that's not a thing, last I heard. Well, I guess this will be our first safe landing. That is not the spin axis I was expecting. <laughs> Indeed. And nothing exploded. When you've successfully landed or splashed down, you can recover your vessel. The vehicle will be recycled and crew returned. Yes. All right, let's revert. Uh, how do I revert? Here it is. Revert to launch. Confirm. And this time we won't hit all the staging at once. Bill is having a grand time. Yes. Yes, he is. All right. We want to launch, then parachute later on. Space. Beautiful. Oh, those control surfaces may have been a bit big. Those control surfaces may have been a little too sensitive. Um, oh no, oh no, it's fine, it's, it's flapping like a bird, <laughs> that means it's working, right? It's fine, we're good. A bit low for this speed? Wait, what? Alright, uh, apparently the control surfaces are not enough to keep the nose up, though. Not that we designed a good plane here or anything. Can we go over to the left a bit? Not even. A little bit closer to the shore. What's our speed? It's only 55. We're very safe. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Ready for safe landing number two? And then we'll start playing around with something a bit more sophisticated. What's our altitude? 500. And go. 
I said end go. Oh, it's space. It's space. It's space. It's space. Oh, crap. I think I'm going to need to rebind my staging button because my brain keeps telling me it's enter. Almond's Craze. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. JSC, welcome also. I think the wings are upside down. Uh, I couldn't get them to get placed on like Remind wings properly. Slow and insidious killer. You might be right. Yeah, I feel like that's supposed to be the, the top. All right, controls, light. Where's the staging? Activate next stage. Enter. As far as I know, enter isn't being used anywhere else. Alright. Let's try that again. Enter. Fantastic. Oh god. Oh, the flappy is not so much because I touched the control surfaces. Go a little to the left. Oh crap! That was that was a bit too optimistic. Nice. See, let's see if we can turn all the way to the beach with this thing. Not good. And then. What's the minimum altitude for our parachute to work? I'm guessing we could use it now if we wanted to. I don't think we're going to make it to the beach. Let's try at a thousand. This launch assembly looks like a, tr a plane in our tech museum, indeed. Yeah, I thought we'd... Well, I didn't even bother worrying about center of mass or anything, but I thought we'd be able to do slightly better than this, just slapping something together. It's fine. Parachute at 1k. I imagine that'll maybe be enough. There we go. And we can even start pulling up more for a second. All right, fast forward with parachute. What could go wrong? I think this used to make the parachute break. We definitely don't want to be in fast forward mode when we touch the wall. Actually, I kind of want to run this experiment. Sorry, Bill. It actually doesn't kill us. Although, apparently we're stuck under the water. Are we sinking or... No, I think we're floating. Looks like we're slowly coming back up. Judging by... Uh... Wait. Why can't I... I think... Okay, either it's reporting the ground as the bottom of the ocean, or... I think it's reporting the ground as the bottom of the ocean. Because I don't think we're floating. I, I think... I think we're getting further into the depths here. So, first submarine? I suppose center of mass shifts wildly once the fuel is empty, exactly. Yeah, I think uh, the center of mass is pr probably here-ish to begin with, and then once this thing is empty, it's probably like here. Or at least significantly further forward. I kind of want to see him touch the bottom. Visibility down here is not so great. Hopefully we don't meet a reaper. Actually, the reaper would be... At least you could hear it coming. 
default name three. What is that? 9.9k. Oh, that's like our... That's like our two pieces of... Uh... Hey, I think we found the ground. Nice. And now we can just get out, right? EVA is disabled because time warp is not one times. We actually can get out. Oh. Uh, we seem to be sliding along the bottom of the ocean. And if I didn't know better, I'd say we're doing it uphill. Uh, I kind of want to see where this goes. What was that? What? What was that? Was it a structure of some kind? It was a negative symbol on the altitude? Yeah, I think it's reporting sea level now. Uh, Bill... Bill is having a great time. Look at this. He's invented underwater skiing. We're moving at 175 meters per second, actually. Um... Uh, I, I think we're going to make it, actually, to the shore. That was our goal. I think we can do it. Are you winning, son? We are indeed winning. Look at this. We got a 175 meter unpowered... Uh, would we call it a submarine? What do you call something that skims along the surface of the bottom of the ocean? The stupid in this game makes me happy. Dead boat? Hooray? I kind of do want... Uh oh. Uh -oh. Should we get back inside? Okay, we're skating along at 105 meters per second, which is a lot faster than this sand texture would probably lead us to believe. It's very, very fast. Um, I wonder if Bill should maybe get back inside. Don't change a thing, it might stop. Torpedo cell? Mud crawler? It's actually some underwater sounds, occasionally. Beautiful. Oh, oh, little bump there. We're about to reach the shore. Nice. That deserves a flag, I think. How do I plant a flag? Can I plant a flag on Kerbin? Surely. How, how do we... How do we plant flags? Uh, settings? It's called the SS Glizzy. <laughs> Wait, what? It's orbit, sp orbit speed not relative to the surface. Oh, right. Yeah, so we must have... What was the speed? Was it like 175? So we were moving at one meter per second, right? Plant flag. Yes. Uh... What should we call it? Beached. Underwater... Skating. Go burr. Fantastic. Alright. Let's recover this thing. Can we get back inside? Um, oh, they even have a little, a little water simulation. Was that using the jetpack? No, I don't think so. Oh. Let me in. Let me in. No, I think we're going to have to just recover these one by one. Okay. Recover vessel. Yes. 
That was some good flying. <laughs> Indeed. Can we also recover this vessel? Do we need to do... Tracking station. Do we need to do both of those separately? I think so. Oh, that's that's not a good zoom level for the surface. This is the tracking station. From here you can easily find and learn more about vessels. Indeed. We can find any trapped object here. Vessels. Fly safe one. No, no, no. I didn't mean to control. God damn it. Actually, that's probably fine. Selecting an object will show the information panel. This will give you detailed information. You can perform actions on your vessels here too. If you want to change what vessel you're actively flying, cool, cool, cool. Let's recover this thing. Nice. Can we see our little flat? Oh my god, that's pixely. Uh, can we not, like, can we not set this to better pan around the surface of carbon? Or is this as good as it gets? If our flag is shown here, I'm not able to see it. Oh, we need to... We've got debris in orbit? Where? Oh, I think the in orbit is actually not exactly right. I think those are the two pieces of the... Um... No? Why are they still here? Focus. But default name. I'm guessing these are the clamps, but I can't seem to get rid of them. Confirm. Yeah, it's not happening. Okay. Hopefully that won't cause any problems. Oh, here's our flag. No, we're still centered on where the ship was. Okay. Back to the VAB. Wait, I didn't say revert, did I? No, I think we're good. Oregon Whale? I don't get the reference, sorry. Oregon Whale. Actually, I want to go back to the other menu and see see if there's a, like another like a plane assembly building or how that works okay um o1 rocket o2 plane how does that work how do i go back to here we are kerbal space center VAB Launchpad Training Tracking Station Training Center. So, how would I make a plane? Oh, workspace orientation. There we go. But then where do I choose where it spawns? Center of mass. That is a very big ball. Center of thrust. Fantastic. Alright, can we scrap this whole thing? Real quick. Uh... What's the quickest way to say out with all of this? New? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, let's try making a plane. And it kind of bugs me how it's floating in, it's going to be floating in the air. But what can you do? We need a cockpit. Cocker 2, 5 seat command pot. No, that's not really what I'm looking for. There we go, cockpits. How about a nice small pointy one? Dynamite event? Oh no. Oh, I think I might have heard of that. Exploding whale carcasses due to a buildup of gas? That's even worse. Uh, I could do like a double cockpit just for funsies. And then some kind of, can I like extend this or is it a set length? If they've got procedural parts from the Wait, what did I just do? Right click centered on it. But I didn't want to be centered on it. I, I need to be able to move around my view relative to the craft. Oh, middle mouse? No. Let's have another look. Maybe I missed something. Is it under user interface? No, it's not. Okay, input, flight, global, EVA, assembly building. Center camera in VAB home. Okay. It's not really what I'm looking for. I want to be able to pan around. Without moving the craft around. Input. That's flight. Camera fast modifier shift. Rotate pitch SW WASDA QE. I think that's for parts though. Toggle frame of reference F. Might be worth a try. So WASDA QE F. WASDA QE doesn't do anything unless we're holding a part. F doesn't seem to do anything. Home brings us back here. Um, wasn't there another camera thing somewhere? Home. No, I guess that's it. I could have sworn I used to be able to move the camera around somewhat. Oh, I didn't try a left shift and right shift. That doesn't seem to do anything. And that's... Ooh! Okay. That's pretty neat, but it's still not what I'm looking for. I just want to be able to, like, pan around. It doesn't seem like a big ask. Oh, bloody hell. So, my instinct is right-click to change the camera angle. Right after I move this over here, so I can, like, swivel to the right a bit. And then that just moves me back to the center. That's really frustrating. All 
Alright, uh, what else should we do? Some kind of... We got some fuel. Wait, what kind of fuel is it? Let's make sure we know. Structures... I don't think that's what we need. Unless... Not sure what we'd want to do with that just yet. Oh, we got struts. Fantastic. Methalox. What do the jet engines use? Where are the engines? Jet engine. More info. Uh, propellants, methane, and intake air. Okay. Well, that's extra small. Uh, looks like all the jet engines use the same fuel. Let's go for a small... Well, first of all, we need a fuel tank. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised we don't have, like, procedural tanks if they were going to do that with the wings. So this is a really small fuel tank. This is a larger fuel tank. I think we'll try this. Uh, let's put a jet engine on the back. A... How much thrust do these have? Well, what about fuel efficiency? Only 130 kilonewtons of thrust. Oh, wait, what? Vacuum 130? It's a jet engine. What? I'm guessing it just doesn't actually work. Maybe if you somehow stored a bunch of intake air, it would... No, that doesn't make sense. Um, What else we got here? Actually, maybe it would. 85 kilonewtons versus 138. Oh, this is the smaller one. Is it? What's the tonnage? Uh, one point two tons, one point eight, one point five. This is the smallest one. Stops under ten percent. How big do we want for a little plane? Electric charge, 4,000 per second. How much propellant does it consume? Almost nothing? 0 0.001 ton per second max. 0 0.058. Why does the smallest... Why does the weaker one eat more methane? Max thrust... That's afterburner. Oh, okay. It can reverse? I'm reading into this too much for now. Let's just slap together something. Give me the one that produces electrical charge in case we need some of that. And then some wings. Let's start with the stabilizer so that we can see it properly. Symmetry mode is for planes. So far, so good. Probably just leave that as default. How about some medium-sized... Oh, those are kind of big, actually. That might actually be fine. Or maybe we'll start with this and make it a bit smaller. 
that's actually pretty big. Where's the center of mass? And the center of lift. Oh. Uh, I don't think we can see the center of lift. Uh, we can take a wild guess, I suppose? Move this forward a bit. And then play around with the settings a little bit. Probably don't want quite such a big wingspan. That looks a bit more reasonable. I think that's going to put our center of lift too far forward. It's going to be trying to pull up all the time and violently. But I can't see the center of lift, so that's something of a wild guess. Well, we can give it a try. Let's give it some... wheels? Um... Hopefully we don't have the kind of nightmare that I've experienced before with wheels on runways. And then... Should we go for this one or this one at the back? No, I don't want them fixed. God, it's hot. It's really difficult with this camera. Oh my god. I guess. I guess angle the camera and then move the plane forward. There we go. And something like that, but then... Can we edit the settings on these? No? Alright, in that case... It's... how am I supposed to... I'm not going to be able to see if these are at an appropriate angle. That seems a little too straight up and down. I think you can see the lift by pressing one of the buttons at the bottom. We've got center of thrust, center of mass, center of pre... Oh, center of pressure is lift. Okay, I thought that would be something to do with drag. Fantastic. Playing wild. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's turn these off for a sec. As we attempt to place wheels that will not... Uh, what was the button? A and D. We'll attempt to place some wheels that will not cause the plane to go left, right, left, right on the runway. We hope. And is it okay to turn this around? I guess we'll find out. Maybe this needs to be a bit further forward. Maybe... Well, let's just give it a try and see what happens. So we got fuel. Oh, we need intakes, possibly. Unless it's built in somewhere. Uh, let's see. It might be under fuel tanks? Ooh, xenon. Hydrogen, fuel line. Uh, I'm not seeing any air intakes. Maybe it's under... Well, let's search. Intake. Here we go. 
What category is that normally under? Maybe aerodynamics? Yeah, here we go. Uh, I think we'll go with these little things. We're not going to need much, and I don't want to put it at the front or anything. Let's go for a couple of these. Maybe under here? That doesn't look... Well, except for the clipping, that doesn't look too bad. Playing wild, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's turn off the snap for just a sec. That's not... That's not what I had in mind. There we go. Okay, so something like... Can I turn off the angle snap? Something a little bit like... This, perhaps? Uh, it'll have to do. Uh, and I believe we can paint our vehicle, right? Parts manager. Don't think it's under here. Why is it so unreliable when I click close there? Action groups. Well, we're definitely going to need to make sure... Make sure the gear is... Action grouped. Uh, ground? Oh, here we go. Took a moment to populate. Toggle wheel brakes. So that's three, I guess. Uh, that's not really what I'm looking for, though. Toggle light. Toggle wheel brakes. Extend gear, retract gear. How do I... Uh... What? Toggle wheel brakes. Gear. But how do I... Do I need to, like, drag this up here? No? How do I action group it? What if I right-click on this? Gear extended. Okay, so that's its starting position. And then? Just a different name, I guess, indeed. How do I, um... Oh, I might want to invert steering on the one at the front if it's turned around. Steering enabled. We probably don't want that on the ones at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I hope it's just sort of built in by default that gear triggers these. Now... Is it going to... Oh, yeah, 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 it all, there it is, runway one. Because we made it horizontal, it defaulted to runway one. We've actually got four launch pads, two runways, and a boat launch. It's kind of neat. All right, have I forgotten anything? We've got an engine at the back. Well, we should probably check center of lift versus center of mass. Um... It's not a disaster if it's slightly forward, but this is way too far forward. Especially as we drain our fuel tank at the back, it's gonna... It, it's gonna be trying to pull up hard to begin with, and it's gonna get worse. So, we're gonna need to... Oh my god, what the hell. Uh... What? What even? What is happening?
That's not good. He turned off snap. I don't think having snap turned off should account for that. Like, why does it want to... Oh my god. Why does it want to go backward at every other pixel? It's not because I'm, like, pointing at this other part. Let's just get rid of the wings. And start again. That turned out to be a lot easier. Okay, so we definitely want center of lift behind center of mass, but not too far behind, otherwise we won't be able to pull up or even keep it steady. As we drain fuel... Uh, unless we, like, rearrange things as we drain fuel, the center of mass is going to move uh, further forward. So, actually, we probably want it... We probably want the center of lift... as far forward as we can get away with to start with, right? Uh, so here? That's pretty good. Maybe slightly further forward. I kind of want to make the wings smaller, though. Let's start with that. Um, also, if I change the thickness of... If I change the root thickness, it once again does this weird bad mirroring. Well, that's not good. Kind of where you had it, can you undo? I can. But... Does anyone know why... Do I have, like, the wrong symmetry mode? Like, it, it sounds like I have this symmetry mode. Where it's, like, radial... And not as if it was wings. Like, you can see one of the wings is upside down there, and if I change root thickness, that actually behaves as you'd expect. But... If I... set the symmetry to actual symmetry, as in airplane symmetry, give it a wing, and we can see that from the texture that the wing is actually... I was gonna say rotated correctly. Well, let's have a look. Uh, so that looks right, but then if we edit the wing... Root thickness? Okay, that actually is correct. I should probably use this to test every time. Okay, so I want this to be... Straight up horizontal. And wing angle looks like this. Or something. Wingspan. Maybe not that long. Um, root thickness should probably be more than paper thin. Probably be a bug slash oversight. Alright. Um, let's check the center off. That is way forward. Oh. Can I move the... Can I move the wings only, please? No? Why can't I now move... There we go. Why did... Why did that just appear when I, like, accidentally right-clicked it? Okay. That's actually really good, I think. It's forward of the center of mass, uh... So it's gonna want to lift. And as the fuel drains, it's going to move behind, and it's going to want to dip, and hopefully not too much. 
did you merge? That's the thing, I think. Is that why one of the... Oh, no, I was just mousing over these. Whoops. <laughs> that wasn't what I expected, but good to know that that's there. Um, that actually looks kind of cool. And then... Root thickness is behaving like it should. And then... Is this being updated? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's try that. Oh, it wasn't being updated. That's way far forward now. So now I want to move these back a bit. Or I could just make the wings go further back. Root length. Is that going to do it? That brings it even further forward. Okay, let's do this, but a bit further back. That's... That's exactly on. About here. That's way too far forward. That's... Also way too far forward. That's definitely not what I'm looking for. I want it just to be a little bit forward. That's probably it. Now it looks like a dart. That's okay. Let's see if it works. We need a jet engine input somewhere or other. Like here, perhaps. That doesn't look great. Put it back like here. That still looks suboptimal. But it should work. Probably. Alright. That took a lot longer than expected. Let's find out if it works. Uh, let's pull up the dart. Actually, that... <laughs> That vertical control surface now looks really small, but it's probably fine. Well, it's more of a stabilizer. Um, why are the wings flapping up and down like crazy? Holy. That might be a bit aggressive for the control surfaces. I, I might have accidentally picked something that's not a wing, actually. <laughs> Those aren't wings. <laughs> you don't say. Alright. Yeah, I thought, like, back here would be the control surfaces. Um, also, it looks like... It looks like my reversed wheel control is the wrong way around. Launch? No, 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 no. Just gotta fix a couple of things quick. At the very least, make sure that uh, turning left and right on the runway doesn't make the wheel fight you and flip over the vehicle. I do have aspirations of getting off the runway. Crazy as that may sound. I have complete faith that you'll leave the runway? Why are you laughing? Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I think we picked contr control surface instead of wing. That's, um... That might be suboptimal. Alright. Center of... I don't want it to be this big. Can we stop always hiding the procedural wing thing behind this thing? Um, okay, so wing span. Bring it, bring it in a bit. 
something like that. And then... The rest is honestly probably fine. It's looking a little thick. Actually, it's doing the thing... It's doing the thing where the root thickness is not mirrored properly. Let's try this again. What was the difference when I got it to work right? Is that... Was it because I put in control surfaces instead? I certainly hope that's not the reason. Also, why can't I... Why can't I click the wing settings now? Here we go. Root thickness. Yeah, with the control surfaces it looks right. And then I take wing, with all the same settings, place this on the side somewhere. Could, could you stop popping up in front of me? And then... Settings, root thickness. Nothing for it. When you initially set the wing position, it's right. As in, it's like mirrored okay. Oh! Oh. Okay, apparently... Apparently it's just when it renders it like this, and then when we're done, it pops into place properly. So I guess we can assume that it's... If the right wing... I mean, sorry, if the left wing is correct, the right wing is going to be... Uh, forced into place. Let's bring down the... Th Thickness to something a bit more reasonable, and then wingspan, and then I was thinking of bringing it further back, but it depends where the center of mass and lift are, which probably haven't updated yet. It would be very helpful if these two would update while we're playing with the wings. Uh, but yeah, that's a little too far forward. Um, what, what, what? No. So let's try... I kind of want to keep the wings where they are, but like, make them wider. What was it? Root length? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we need to close this. That's further forward. Alright, actually shift the whole thing back. It'd be very nice if in the arrow, in the procedural, we could slide the wings back and forth and see, see this adjust accordingly. Okay, how about there? Not like that. No anhedral wings today. We're just doing the basics. That's still a bit far forward. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. That's dead on. I definitely want to start a little bit forward because... Not that far forward. Holy crap. It keeps doing this. That's way too far. Okay. So this is... The front wing is in the middle of this bit. Let's move it back a little bit more. Like this. That is still too far forward. Let's bring it back to like here. And it's still pretty far forward. Maybe I play with the root length a bit. I think that actually brought it back a bit. Hmm. Do we have enough control surface to keep it steady if it's going to be like this? That actually looks pretty reasonable. Did we really move the center of lift that much by adding the intakes? 
Oh, I wonder what kind of model it's using. It might be a lot more basic than, like, Ferrum Aerospace. So I might be operating off of some intuition that is not quite aligned with the game here. Alright. Oh, and I need to swap this around. Uh, it's invert steering, false. Cool, cool, cool. Interesting thought. What if you click on the icon on the other wing? Nope. I have a feeling this is not as sensitive... Not as sensitive adjustment as this. Hold on, let me see if this... Uh... Okay, so that's working properly. Our control surfaces are pretty big. But not entirely unreasonable. And I think we're going to give it a try. Normally I would use cockpit view for this, but I can't do that today. Go. They're looking very excited. What's our speed? 30 meters a second? I don't have any stats on this plane, so I don't know what would be our minimum speed for a good takeoff. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's what I was afraid of. Oh no. Well, we got into the air. G for gear did indeed put the landing gear back down. Um, considering the way that we started swerving for no reason, probably because of the landing gear, uh, I don't think landing is a very realistic proposition. Taxiway job? We are flying pog, indeed. Complete faith. Wings are looking pretty beefy compared to the rest of the plane. This is true. Uh, we're probably wasting a lot of fuel with this much thrust, and we're, like, fighting against our drag more, way more than we need to. Uh, kind of wish I had something with analog control. Or the ability to make the... Make the control... So Holy crap. I was going to say the ability to make the control surfaces less sensitive would be good. Okay. I think we got this. I think we got this. Uh, overcorrect, overcorrect. No? Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. J just a bit of... Just a bit of acrobatic... Uh, just, just showing off a little bit. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Caps lock make the control surfaces less sensitive? Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. But yeah, uh... Ooh, that's bright. When I get back into this, assuming that the game gets better, uh, especially the performance, but I'll definitely be looking at some kind of analog control so I don't have to do the little tappity tappity with keys. It's fine, indeed. <laughs> you can also make them smaller next time around, just the control surfaces, that might be a good idea, with the same wing shape though. What, how do you like our odds of landing on the wrong way? <laughs> We're at 320 meters per second using max thrust. We've got most of our fuel left, like 80%. Uh, I might have actually... 
I might have actually waited too long even to go to zero thrust if we're going to slow down for this uh, landing. If I throw the gear out, it'll give us some more drag. Hopefully it won't make us flip over like we did before. We're down to 249. Yeah, I don't think we're landing on this approach. 248. Is that trim control? Seems a bit aggressive. Yeah, I can't like right click on the flaps themselves. Uh, I also want to know how slow can we go before we stop getting a decent amount of lift in this thing. Hundred and seventy meters per se oh that's orbit. No no this is surface, this is surface. Hundred and sixty I'm guessing we can probably go less than a hundred. With this much uh wing surface area. We can probably go relatively slow before we start dropping. I mean we are losing altitude right now, but it's Oh, can actually almost maintain it while turning. 105. Okay, I think we want a bit more speed than this. Looks like you'll need a second pass. Yeah, I think I'll go back and try and land at the KSC. Even though that sunset... Ouchie. I need a nerf point and some sunglasses. This is the first chance for a fine explosion. <laughs> Do the old reliable hold rudder roll and pitch. Oh no. Christoph, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Beppis, welcome in. Hip jump. Okay. Uh, where exactly is the KSC? I'm pretty sure it's basically right where the sun is. We're cruising pretty comfortably at 170-ish with 44% thrust. Let's try like 20. Don't forget to request a flyby Maverick. <laughs> Indeed. I'm quite pleased I was able to recover from that, what was it, double, triple, uh, somersault? I mean, it's not exactly a somersault, it was completely uncontrolled. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. Should, do we dare time warp with physics? Let's try it. Does that mean we're on approach? Is that the runway there? I can kind of see it because of the pixely... Oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. That was getting a bit hard to control. We should probably line up first. Yeah, we can we can fly quite comfortably on 20% thrust. Oh, I I should stop turning towards the runway before I got it lined up. That's like 240 mile per hour, indeed. Do they have any air brake parts implemented? Not that I could see. I looked for them. 110 seems a good landing speed at meters per second. It's still pretty fast, but yeah, I th think you could do like a hundred-ish. Alright, no thrust. And... Gear out so we slow down more. We can always add more speed. And thank you for the follow, Crystal. 
It almost looks like there's trees on the runway. Probably not. It's probably fine. Uh, we're still at 170 meters per second. That's not ideal. Let's see how much of it we can bleed. It's a pretty long runway, but we might be a bit too fast still. It should be pretty easy to line up and stuff, but I think as soon as we actually land, the wheels are going to spaz out. It's actually a shockingly difficult problem to solve, uh, weirdly enough. I, sp I spent more time googling why is my plane spinning out on the runway than I did, like, figuring out single stage to orbit and stuff like that. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do another pass. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's try and stall it. Uh, I think it's too late. I think it's a little too late. I can't tell how much more runway we've got, but I think it's not much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One more pass. At least in KSP-1, you right-click and activate Reverse Thrust. Oh yeah, I forgot that was an option. Um, I, th I can't remember if this engine has it or not. It does have Reverse. Alright, that's something to bear in mind. That's actually incredibly useful, because it gives you some air brake without adding any mass. Alright, let's bank over to the left. Time warp a bit. Carefully. Not much to none. I'm a huge fan of the menus so far, but I'm sure... Not a huge fan of the menus, but I'm sure I'll get used to it, yeah. Some of the UI needs to be a bit more responsive, especially those little X's that you have to click to close something. They're often... they'll often just ignore you. Uh, let me turn off the caps lock. Okay, that was a bit too aggressive. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I've doomed us all. It's fine. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. That sounds bad, actually. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. I think we actually have it? What? I think I almost had it. I think... It might actually not be impossible? Nope, nope, we're, we're dead. We're very dead. We're 97% dead. I'm pretty sure. Alright. Let's revert to launch. Veto, <laughs> indeed. Game still needs so much work, yep. Did you burn so much fuel you moved your center of mass too much? No, 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 no. Uh, we were down like 10, 15% at most when I used it all at maximum thrust before I headed for the island. Use Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I kind of forgot about the whole control surfaces being so aggressive that I flipped over earlier. And I got too greedy trying to, uh, to turn around faster. So I definitely changed staging to enter, but it doesn't do anything. Just have to click go. I'm gonna try forcing the plane down 
until we've got some speed up and see if that doesn't help prevent it going left and right. I'm skeptical, to say the least. Uh, yeah, we're not even at 30 meters per second. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, it's somewhat manageable if you're ready for it. Oh, God. What's our speed? 80? When do we lift off? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay. 110. We can lift off at 110-ish. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. So I've got the back wheels set to not turn at all, and only the front wheel turns. Maybe the front wheel is like off-center or something. Oh yeah, we definitely don't need max thrust. Should we try the island? I think we can try the island. We won't be facing the sun this time. It's very wobbly. I think it's way too much wing. But it does let us fly pretty slowly before we, uh... Before we lose lift. Keep it low? Yeah. What are we at? 1900? Alright, let's, uh, let's time warp a bit. Hardly seems like too much wing if you can't lift until 110. <laughs> I think it's because... no, that's not right. The center of lift is forward of the center of mass, so if anything it should be, like, forcing us up early. Maybe the back wheels are facing outward a few degrees? Gear can be kind of a nightmare if it's not just right. Yeah, gear can absolutely be shockingly difficult um, to set up. So what, you think the back gear should be just straight up and down? I never saw a succinct explanation of why my gear was a problem way back when. If you're gaining a lot of altitude, you're gaining a lot of altitude too high for landing. What's the altitude of the, the island runway? I don't think we're that high up, especially with the angle we've got here. I do think uh, we can start slowing down now though. Let's put the gear out. Drop your gaining speed, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't have to go in, we, we don't have to drop that quickly. Oh, where's, is that the runway? Oh, it's closer than I thought it was. Oh no, I thought that was like the start of it. Um, what if I force a bit of a stall? No, that didn't work out the way I hoped. I mean, it might, actually. Okay, I'm gonna need to take caps lock off for this. Yeah, I thought the first point where I could see some white would be the beginning of the runway. It turns out it's pretty much the end. Uh, but also... We should definitely learn at what speed this thing stalls. If it's pointed slightly upward, it is below 80. It's going to make the landing relatively easy if we can pull it off. 70? 66? When's it going to start forcing itself down? We're still gaining altitude. Or is that the ground might be getting further away from us? What's our sea altitude? There we go. 
We are slowly losing altitude, but it's not like we're stalling. Wow, we're down to like 36, and we're just very, very comfortably slowing down. Damn. This is even more of a glider than I thought it would be. Okay, okay, there's our problem. There, there's our problem speed, right there. It, it is shockingly slow, this thing can go. And can we stop thrusting off of our center of direction? Off of our, what is it called, prograde? That's good. There we go. Right. So where's our runway? Way back here. About to free fall, <laughs> indeed. Let's give it a little bit more thrust than that. Especially while we're turning. Oh good, landing against the sun again. That's what I need. Okay, and we'll try and keep the speed at like... 50 or so? Maybe a bit more than that, just to be a bit safer. Now where is that runway? Well, if we go slow enough, we should be able to sort it out. Let's put this at like... 13%. I think that's the runway. We need to go left. Way more left than I would like. Thing is very needs a bigger control surface for rolling. Okay, I think we're okay to cut the engine now, and maybe take off caps lock and just be careful. That runway looks very bumpy. Alright, 62, 60, running out of runway already, Fifty four. we are so out of runway, oh no, oh no, not again, no, we were doing so well. At least we won't be staring into the sun this time. Okay, so I'm gonna aim to land like before the runway and then adjust from there. What FPS are you getting while flying around? I'm not sure, but you can kind of eyeball it. I think it, depending on where I'm looking, it's either quite high, like, I don't know, 60-ish? I don't know how high this game goes. Uh, or if we're looking at the terrain a lot, it's like double, it's like 20 to 30 or something. Nineteen ninety seven terrain graphics with 1992 frame rates. Looking at the main base is bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking at the cl even the clouds, um, pretty bad. Alright, let's try turning around. Wait, when did I hit max throttle? Oh crap, oh not again, oh no, 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 please, not like this, not like this. I forgot about caps lock, I forgot about the, oh no, oh no, I think we can recover, I think we can recover. Just chase the prograde, chase the prograde. And then, yes, that was deliberate, all of it. It was just a fancy way to turn around. Don't worry about it. Caps lock on. What a fast break indeed. 
Alright, let's kill the throttle already. Pretend we're trying to land before the runway. The kettle is boiling. I can't even see the runway. I think that black thing is the runway. Probably. Nice maneuver, kind of a stall turn. Indeed. <laughs> the tea hats. It is getting so dark. We're actually, like, racing against... The sun going down as well. I think I can see the runway. Just barely. I, I want to dip down and just miss it so I can stall. We're going way too fast again. Wait, wait, wait. Reverse thrust. It's probably too late. I probably shouldn't reverse thrust at maximum... Oh. Did I just touch the ground? I think I did. Alright. Let's try a more sedate approach. Go on reverse thrust, I can't watch another go around. <laughs> yeah, I thought of it a bit too late. I've never even tried the reverse thrust, so I don't know how powerful it is, so I need to be careful. Actually, why don't we experiment with it for a sec? I'm gonna leave the... Uh, we'll put the gear up. Let's see what our maximum speed is. I think it was like 200 something. Okay, let's just stop at 200. We're gonna throw the- we're gonna slam this thing into reverse and see what happens. Okay, that's pretty aggressive. And if we stop thrusting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So... Once I'm ready to shut off the engine, I'll put it in reverse. Simplest way to set it down is just fly as slow as you can without stalling, and drop it as soon as you're over the runway. Yeah, that was the idea. I just had way more speed left over than I thought I would. Hey, at least the frame rate's getting better, now that we can't see anything. Alright, we are at 1.30. I'm gonna kill the thrust here already. Do we have lights? Um, not that I know of. I think they're built into the gear, actually. I thought it was L for lights. Is it like 5 or something? Uh, where can I look at my action groups? Action group manager. Okay. Lights is 5. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, we're down to 80 already. That's kind of good. Let's put this on reverse. Just in case we need to slow down even more. I seriously doubt it. The question is... Oh, I think I can see the runway. I'm pretty sure it's that line there. It's very faint. But clearer than you would think. Is his light, indeed. The trees are becoming weirdly visible as we get closer. Should probably not turn towards it so fast yet. We're down to 67. What speed did we say we started stalling? 
I think it was well below 50, right? Which is actually kind of a problem. Alright, let's turn on the reverse thrust. Just a little bit. And... I should leave it at that. Alright, moment of truth is coming. We are at 52. Let's reverse thrust a little harder. Nose up a little bit. Round altitude is 10. Oh, that's a bit faster than I thought. And... And... Ray. We did it. Wait, we can stop reverse thrusting now. Nice. That worked out a lot better than I was expecting, especially considering the wheel trouble when we took her. Yeah, pink, thank you. Around 20, you'll be more than fine at 40 or 50. Yeah, I wanted to land super slow, not just to make it safer, but because the wheels are... I think it's maybe because they're at an angle like this. Let's try making them straighter. Uh, we're still... <laughs> we're still reversing. Alright, there we go. Very nice. Alright, recover vessel. Cool, cool, cool. Bill and Bob survive this day. Don't worry about the return by death. Uh, let's revert to... Well, let's just go back to the VAB. There we go. I don't suppose that there's procedural controls for the landing legs, are there? I should probably angle them so that the craft is facing up a little bit when it's landed, maybe? Alright, let's see. Braking power, auto suspension. I wonder if that's a problem. Light enabled. Well, that would have been good. Light enabled. Um, auto friction control. What exactly does that do? Alright, let's take these off and we'll try placing them facing straight down. I like that. Is that going to help? Oh, that's way too... That's way too far up. Okay, how about... somewhere like this? That's maybe a little too far back. Uh, it's worth a try. Let's see how this handles. You can put the rear wheels on the wings now? Uh, that might not be the worst idea. Let's see how... This this thing's going to be really wobbly if it gets out of control. <laughs> but I want to run the experiment and see if wheels pointing straight up and down prevents it from doing what we saw last time. Also, if the plane is already pointing slightly upward, that should help with takeoff a bit. That looks weird. Remember originally you had control surface versus wings, indeed. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not touching anything right now. I think that was the... Whoa, okay. Okay, okay. Uh... Okay. That could be worse. That could definitely be worse. How about the lights from the landing gear? I can't see them. Anyway, let's revert and do something about the wings as well. Best takeoff so far, indeed. And then... So, we're pretty much just going to reduce the control surface area with the same wings, right? Rear gear seems far back? Yeah, probably. You'll be able to take off a lot faster if you have your back gear closer to your center of mass. You need to be careful not to... S oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because... We're like... Well, it's it's not the most accurate description, but like, if the wheels are here and we're trying to lift up, we're sort of pushing this down here as opposed to down here. Can I get bigger wheels, maybe? For the back? Um... We got the smalls, right? What if we got... Oh, that, that that's kind of big. Mediums may be a bit big. I wanted it to be like... 9 like that. But it's obviously way too tall. L6 is probably even bigger. XL is obviously... Oh, that's LG. Large. Alright. Let's do the same thing, but move these forward a bit. Why are they... It's so hard to see what I'm doing when I can't center the camera where I want. Where's the center of lift? That might not be as bad. You can move them up manually with translation controls. I was trying to figure those out again. But what did I just undo? Oh, here we go. So how do I, like, what, right click? And then? How do I translate? I think you press 2. Two? Okay, there we go. Oh, they're way down here. Selection tool. Alignment, assemb... Okay. So, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Much easier. And we want it... A bit closer, but not too close to the center of lift. And that should be a bit easier to take off. And then wings. I, s I said wings. Why, why does that keep disappearing? Oh, it's hidden back here again. Uh, control area. Where is it? Control surface. Uh, I can't change the sensitivity of it. I think I'd like the span to be rather wide, but maybe not so much length. Maybe closer to the edge of the wing as well. It's 
going to be a lot better for rolling. Something like that. Let's give that a try. Oh, and I want the back wing, uh, the stabilizer to be bigger. Tip length. Not quite. Wingspan. That's a bit tall. Wing angle. Uh, length. Want. Position, no. Uh, what am I looking for here? Root length? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should probably move it forward. Uh, it's probably fine. Let's give that a go. Center of lift is significantly forward of center of mass, but it should be manageable. And it'll move, the center of mass will move forward as fuel runs out. Nice to have independent pitch and roll, indeed. All right. Begin. I missed KSP as a flight simulator. I don't know of any other game where you have so much freedom to customize your craft flying around in the atmosphere. So is it safe to tap left? Oop, oop, oop. Bit of a wobble there. And then it automatically takes off, and we're flipping. Okay, okay. I think the center of mass may be a little... little too far forward. I mean the center of lift. <laughs> that was... about ten times more aggressive than I was expecting. <laughs> Can't you put the rear wheels on the wings rather than the fuselage? Um, the wings don't really reach down at all, so... I've got like 500 hours in the first game and 95% of that is making planes, yes. Center of lift should be a smidge behind the center of mass. I'm shocked it flew before. No, center of lift being in front only means that it's going to try to force it to pitch up. Um, it just did that more than expected. Uh, and I think our control surfaces were made a bit weaker than I thought they would be. Let's make them a little bigger again. Well, we didn't really get a chance to try them. Let's move the center of lift back a bit. Uh, what was it? Two. Alignment, assembly... Which is which? Whatever. This should be fine. At least it does refresh the center of lift when we move this around. Okay. Ever so slightly forward should be okay. Let's give it a go. Without analog control, you're just suddenly yanking the control yoke. Yes. That's one reason that you want, uh, like, pretty weak control surfaces if you're stuck with digital input. Alright, I'm just going to not touch the controls, actually. See if it... see what it does. And... Is it going to self-lift? Up to 80? I see it wobbling a little bit. 
nothing too serious. And it's taking itself off. Nice. I have not touched the controls at all. Alright, let's see how it handles with the new control surfaces. Yank it up. That's good. That's really good. I yanked it up for a good, like, half second or so. It's quite responsive, but also it's not gonna, like, easily... Whoop, whoop, never mind, never mind. Okay, it's still fairly easy to to do a flat spin. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not wobbling like crazy all the time, indeed. Should be able to take off way earlier than 100. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was looking at chat for a sec. I pulled up way more than I thought I would. Roll is way slower than I would expect. And yet we can pitch up like crazy. I'm not entirely sure why. If these two control surfaces can be used for roll, then we can pitch up way too fast. I don't know. Let's try the rudder. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfectly reasonable. This is a lot better than the pre- Oh crap, 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 oh crap. And back to prograde? Nope, not yet. Should have used rudder there. That's retrograde. We don't want to be facing retrograde. Okay, okay. Prograde. Thrust, 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 thrust. Twist it back. Yes. Yes. No. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now kill... Kill the thrust. We've got quite enough speed. There we go. There we go. All is planned. We could probably even land from here. Maybe. Let's chuck this thing in reverse. This is... this thing is very good at throwing itself a thousand percent off of prograde and then pretty damn good at being able to recover out of it as well. How well does it pitch down? I'm not about to test it while I land. But it's looking like landing should be pretty easy. There's our light. Oh, I forgot to put the light on the back. It's probably fine. Let's reverse thrust just a little bit. I'm not seeing that light appear on the runway at all. What's our altitude? 46. Alright, a bit more reverse thrust. And kill the reverse thrust. And... Oop. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That wasn't so bad. Nice. I lied, they do have lights on the, the other landing gear. Alright, let's try that... Uh... Wait, am I reverse thrusting? That's not what we want right now. Let's try pitching it down, see how that feels. Will it break the sound barrier? This thing? Absolutely not. Wait, what is the sound barrier? It might be slower than I realized. In meters per second. Isn't it like 300 or something? Pfft. 
346, 330. Okay. And up we go. With plenty of runway to remain. So someone wanted to know how it pitches down. I think we'll gain some altitude before before we aggressively pitch down. Depends on temperature, that's true. I don't think we're approaching three, 340 ish in this craft though. Not with this little engine. Oh, is the sun coming up? Oh, I thought the sun was. That's the west. Yeah, we reverted after that other flight, didn't we? Alright. Pitch down. We are indeed able to pitch down enough to spin out. Maybe I should have waited for a bit more altitude first. Okay, 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 okay. I can't really tell what's happening. There's prograde. Can we face prograde? Yes, kind of. We've got 1300 meters left. Okay. Okay, we're pitching towards prograde. We're over shooting prograde. There we go. And we're back. Nice. And we killed a lot of speed and we're ready to land. <laughs> been a very sciencey day, indeed. Physics is so bad. Is it that the physics is bad, or is this just an amazing plane? Where's the bridge? It's like here, right? Uh, I'm not about to approach it in the dark, I guess. Let's try and orbit. And I'll try landing without reverse thrust as well. We'll start at 100 meters per second at the end of the runway. Sheer drag would have ripped them apart. <laughs> yeah, probably. Sixty fifty five. I think we're going to make it fifty. Let's stall a little bit. And try and stabilize. Let's go caps lock mode. Nope, that's not enough control authority. Oh, that looks good. That looks pretty good. Oh, that looks less good. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Beautiful. How long would we coast if I just don't touch anything? It's so bouncy, yeah. We are barely losing any speed. Oh, right, we've got brakes on the wheels. We don't need reverse thrust to deal with this. Holy crap, the bouncy. Alright, there we go. There we go. And recover. And you're just dampening on the shocks, I believe so. Very good brakes. Yeah, you got to feather them. All right, back to the VAB. Wait, wait. Oh, I didn't mean to revert. It's fine. And then? Mm. 
Machine Freak. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Infinite Force Breaks. <laughs> Just about. You gotta really tap them. I can't remember if you can tweak, or if you used to be able to tweak Breaking Force. I think you probably could. What do we got? Breaking Power. Here we go. We could probably stand to reduce that a little bit. Like, about one third. Should we have less breaking force at the front than at the back? I don't know. And then, somewhere else, I believe there was... Uh, oh, this is for the two of them? Oh, this is for all three of them here. Status extended, auto suspension. Sp oh, okay, so auto suspension is just, like, defaults for these, I guess. Spring strength and damper strength. So, presumably a little bit less springy <laughs> might be better. Uh, damper strength? I'm not exactly sure what that means, and I don't want to mess with it. But let's try... Uh, the same settings... What was it? 50% on spring strength? And then this one... Oh, they already mirrored. Good, good, good. So you don't flip under braking? Set it at 5 to 7%? But what if I want to brake real fast? Alright, let's give that a go. I kind of want to move on to another craft, but uh, let's let's at least play with this a little bit. Okay. We should probably do another landing to really test it. Or we could, for starters, just speed up a bit and then throw on, slam on the brakes. Dampening would be the shock absorber piston. Yeah, so it won't be as, like, loosey-goosey. Right? All right, let's try braking. Slam it on. Oh, that's actually really reasonable. Actually, maybe it should be higher. In case we really need to stop in a hurry. Can I change it here? I can. Okay, braking power... 50%. Can I type it? No. I can't get it to say 50. Uh, that's maddening. Okay, fine. 51%. And this one should be mirrored? I think it is. Okay. Try scrolling? Try scrolling? You mean like this? No. Alright, let's take off. Or, no, let's speed up first and then brake again. Let's go up to like 40 meters a second. And brake aggressively. It's actually, like, super safe. Maybe we should have changed it in the realm of, like, 75 to 80%, not 33 to 50%. Chewing my nails here. 
Indeed. Alright, time to land on the vehicle assembly building. Because this is clearly a VTOL. Also, it should still take off by itself, right? We've been on the runway so long the music changed. I do love that we can see inside the cockpits. Uh, I don't love that we don't get to sit inside the cockpits. Alright, up we go. I think it self takes off at about about this speed actually. 130, 140-ish. It really does roll slowly. Not entirely sure why. Oh, 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 nope, nope, nope. I recovered. Hell yes. Might be the the big fat wings. <laughs> Don't call my plane fat. I kind of want to go for the the infamous bridge. Might need to lower the sensitivity of pitching. Uh, I think it's fine as long as I don't overdo it. As long as I don't try to go too far ahead of pro grade. That's actually perfectly fine. I remember, I forget what mod it was, but we had all sorts of control over the pitch and yaw and stuff. Like the individual control surfaces, you could configure them so that like Hard pitching wouldn't necessarily uh, like pull up the control surfaces as aggressively as if you're trying to roll, for instance. So where is this bridge everyone likes to fly under? I think if you go under 80 meters per second, you'll stall. Uh, we actually flew significantly slower than that in this thing before it stalls. I forget how low it was. It was ridiculous. It was like, what, 20, 30? It was significantly under 50, right? Look, we're at 55 now. Is this the part people like to fly through? I think it is. Thought it was somewhere around 35, indeed. Yeah, I think we can easily do that in this craft. Especially because we can fly so slowly. It's pretty maneuverable as long as we don't overdo it. Not my best fighter jet by far. I once accidentally made something that I would seriously call a fighter jet. Like, it was ridiculously maneuverable, and I couldn't make it uh, lose control. Let's turn around. And the funny thing was, uh, I built it by accident. I can't remember what I was trying to make. But ridiculously powerful maneuverable fighter jet is what we got. I need to be able to pitch down harder. To cancel when I'm going ahead of the prograde with the pitch. Where's the bridge? Oh, it's way over to the left. Should we still go for it? I think this is a bad idea. I 
I think this is a terrible idea. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not going to make it this time. That fuel indicator at the bottom right is too small. It is a little bit small, yeah. Let's let's give us give ourselves a bit more of a run up this time. And maybe pay more attention to where we're lining ourselves up with as well. ASP, indeed. Stardust Nebula. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't know if thrust helps us or not with stability when we're doing something like this. Seems okay either way. We're kind of fast. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Is that where we're aiming for? I honestly can't tell. I think it's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I see our target. I think I'd be a lot happier if I was in a cockpit for this. We're going so fast. Okay. I think we're too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That last little pitch was too high. Doing great, thanks. Hope you're doing well too. Thank you. Alright. Let's go a bit further out before we cut the thrust and turn around. Maybe time warp a little bit. It's obviously a bit soon to say, but I think the physics time warp seems to be a lot more stable and safe. Should we use some reverse thrust? Why not? Enable control on inner wing? Inner wing? Do you mean the stabilizer? Let's slow down a little bit. A Reaper? Well, come out. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Oh, that's too slow. I mean, it's fine, but it, it, I was losing speed a lot faster than I thought. Okay. Much better. Give us a little bit of thrust so we don't die. I think we are almost exactly on target this time. Now if it would just stop wobbling. And if I could... Oh, I pressed F5. I was looking for 5 for the landing gear lights, but those aren't actually going to help us right now. I can't quite tell how close to the ground I am. I think our rudder is too tall. I think we might make it though. Oh crap. Um, we would have made it if I didn't pull up into the second bridge. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. It wasn't overconfidence. We got through the first bridge. Pretty close. Hey T-Hacks, watch out for that second bridge. <laughs> yeah, I think I had a moment of indecision about whether I should pull up past it or go under it as well. The maneuverability of the craft is quite good, but the wobbliness of it uh, definitely doesn't help. Especially with the digital controls for the uh, control surfaces. 
one of two quite good. <laughs> yeah, fifty percent. We can we can go home and brag about that. Wait, we're dead. I might try doing it while there's still a bit more light. Or maybe we could even do it straight from the runway. Stability is quite... Uh, is the opposite of maneuverability? Not necessarily. You can... especially with more advanced... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Aerodynamic simulation like the Ferrum Aerospace mod. Uh, you can design a craft that wants to stabilize itself, if you want to use that metaphor. Maybe doing stunts in daylight would be easier, indeed. Captain True, Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Overconfidence kills slow, indecision kills quickly, indeed. Aren't flight sticks expensive though? Probably. Uh, the controller that I used to use for Rocket League isn't horribly expensive, but the trouble with those is I would go through them every few months. And not because I'm slamming them against a wall or something. I mean, they literally just, especially if you're practicing flight with uh, constant air roll. Um, something gives out eventually. They don't make them like they used to. I don't think... I think that building is a bit too in our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one right there makes that approach a bit more dangerous than it would be otherwise, especially with our wings being as wide as they are. A gamepad is fine. Yeah, you just need analog control. Um, which, by the way, the first time I bought a controller to use with my PC, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the game. I could look it up real quick. What was it? It was an arcade flying racing game that I wanted to play with the analog controls. And then... I fire it up, I use the controller, and even though I'm using a controller with analog controls, the control inputs, pitch, yaw, etc. were just digital. It was just binary, on and off. Not impressed. Skydrift. I'm pretty sure it was called Skydrift. Cool idea. Pity they uh, didn't have the sense to allow you to have analog input. Logitech has a basic stick for $30. That's pretty good. Up to a stick and throttle for $233. Yeah, I'm not, like, gonna be all in on the, like, simulator experience or something if I'm getting a stick for this sort of thing. I mainly just want to be able to have smooth control and not tap, tap, tap. I bought a T16000 for Elite, that was fine for 300-ish hours. Not bad. Check thrift stores or grab a gamepad. If you set up control surfaces um, to toggle on off, then you can toggle between soft control and strong control. Indeed. Okay, let's move on to something else. Recover vessel. Uh, close? I want to do a basic orbit. Let's go VAB. And... What's the most basic craft we can do that'll achieve orbit? Um, we'll definitely want a non-booster for the second stage. A swivel engine, sounds good to me. How much Delta V we got? 
1700. That's probably fine. I don't remember how fast orbit is around Kerbin. At like minimum altitude. Uh, and then we want a small... That's a stabilizer. I want a decoupler. Is it under structures? Engine mount, adapter, beam, body panel mount. I know I can search it, but I wanted to, I kind of want to know where things are. Uh, let's see. Coupling. Here we go. It's already favorited. I, I noticed a few things were favorited before I'd even seen them. Maybe I should be looking at favorites. Yeah. That's about as close as you're going to get to being introduced to things bit by bit at this stage. Uh, and then we want... Oh, I guess we're going to need a heat shield, right? Uh, small heat shield? Might be good to not burn up on re-entry. Wait, we're going to have to decouple at that point if we're going to do that. Coupling, small... And then we want maybe a big solid rocket booster. And let's do a big controllable, uh, a throttleable engine. And we'll put some boosters on the side of it. When in doubt, add more boosters. Fuel tanks. Um, yeah, that's almost what I'm looking for. 2,000 meters per second, I think. Haven't played in a while. Okay. Wait, so how much was this? It was like 1,600 or something, right? Well, we're going to have Delta V in this stage. Um, that should help get us there. Uh, I want a fuel tank sort of like... That's kind of the opposite of what I want, actually. Uh, I want a fuel tank that gets wider, so we can have a bigger one down here. That's definitely not it. Like this, only without the fins. Going to look it up. Okie dokie. Are all of the medium ones like this? Surely not. Yeah, I want something that connects this fat one to the thin one. How do I... There we go. Not like that, though. Middle left... Oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I want that, but centered. This one? Yes. Perfect. And then... These are all fuel tanks? I think we're going to have enough fuel. Um, we need to have... We do have an engine in there. And then we're going to... Have a big old engine down here medium what has the best but well, we're probably going to be using this one from the start right so we want it to have decent thrust in atmosphere thrust at one atmosphere 341 oh that's a huge one isn't it yeah 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 let's go for the mediums oh that goes 525 to 600 that sounds perfect. Yeah, I think this will be... This will be our big boy. What's that button for? Nothing? Good talk. Okay. 2... 22.30 according to chat GTP. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
2280 meters a second at 80k. Okay, cool. Side boosters? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, I need some... Here we go. Some medium size... Decouplers... How many should we go for? Three. See how that goes. I real. I could have sworn. Ah. <gasps> Middle mouse button and drag. Didn't I try that with the plane? That's what I was looking for before. That's that's so much better. Okay. Uh. We need some kind of solid rocket booster. That that's not the search area. Solid booster. There aren't very many yet. How big is this one? Huge. And this one? Even more huger? This one? It's kind of like this one, but longer. This one is... Not the one we want to be using this time. And these are probably a bit small. Okay, I think we'll go for three of these, perhaps. Might want to bring them down a bit. Whoops. How do I back out of that? Right click, left click? No, click on something else. There we go. And back down to here. Give them some aerodynamics. Uh, some struts might be a good idea. In fact, I'm sure they would be a very good idea. And in here as well. Is that right? Looks good to me. Huger is the Kerbal way. I think that was, that's looking pretty good. What kind of Delta V do we have? 4.8k. Uh, I think that's going to be enough for orbit, you know? Probably. Now, how do we make sure it's facing east to launch? The direction what the planet do be spinning. Uh, is it like one of these launch pads faces, faces east? Or like, how did I mess that up earlier? Orbit around what, <laughs> indeed? If you do multiple dual side decouplers and fuel lines, you can stage the side engines to get more out of them. Oh, you mean uh, asparagus staging? Yeah, it's very effective. Um, we can't do that with solid rocket boosters, and I'm not going to get that involved just yet. Also, I can't remember why, probably because fuel flow is a lot more difficult in reality. Uh, but apparently that asparagus staging is not really a thing, realistically. But this is KSP. So it should be fine. Do we need more struts? Like, you know what? The, the mass of struts is either literally zero or practically zero. So let's play it safe. Cool, cool, cool. And check your staging. We want to activate all the big engines at once. And we'll tweak the throttle. Can it tell us the thrust to weight for stage one specifically? It does. Four. More than four thrust to weight. Oh, wait, 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 I think I moved the wrong one. That is barely one thrust to weight with the solid rocket boosters only, if we start with those. So yeah, let's uh, definitely burn some of the uh, methane right from the start. 
we'll see how aggressively we want to throttle that. Um, isn't our th has it not updated? I thought our thrust to weight was four. It's only 1.72. That's quite a lot. More than enough to waste too much energy pushing against the thick atmosphere at lower altitude. Um, and then we want to stage this as soon as we're out of solid booster. Then we want to stage and activate our engine. And then eventually we want to activate parachute. Wait a sec. What happened to the sta- Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We do not want to be staging this part. Can we add, like, another stage up here? Here we go. Uh, so this goes here, right? All right. Activate all the big engines. Ditch the solid boosters when they're empty. Uh, break. Does this matter? If these are in one order or the other? I don't think so. Uh, drop all of this off and start using the small engine. Drop everything off so that we can use the heat shield. Although you can... Assuming you can keep the engine pointed at re-entry, you can use an engine as a heat shield. Maybe not in KSP2, we'll see. If you want to, you want to decouple before the parachute too. Yes, exactly. Okay. That should be fine. And we'll get some clampy clamps. I presume it's not going to be, like, 700 meters off the ground when we start. Alright, launch pad one, let's give it a go. Oh, that was quick. Why was that so quick? After all of those long loading screens. Um, are we facing east? I believe we are facing east. No, doesn't the runway face east? I'm pretty sure this is f facing north. What? Um. The runway faces east, right? You want to fire booster first before you decouple the vertical holders. Uh, yes. Or at the same time, even. Um, I don't know how, if the engines take time to... to get up to speed in this game, probably. Where are the... Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm pretty sure, even though that says east... We'd have to... Like, turn, like, pitch to the right to go east. What, what, what? No, 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 no. Did my first rescue mission in KSP1. Never felt so accomplished. Nice. Congratulations. All right. I think we're ready. Maximum throttle. And... Go. Apparently, if I rebind staging, staging doesn't work as the go button. Alright. And go. And go. My staging isn't working. Okay, what the hell? Pause it. Settings. Input. 
Activate next stage, enter. Why are we not staging? How many parachutes? Just the one? There's only going to be this left at the end of it. It's glorious. Actually understanding the conics and stuff, so awesome. Yeah, there's nothing like playing with it to learn that stuff. Can I like manually stage? Really? I had to click go again? Uh, that's a little frustrating. So is the enter button just not going to work as staging? I'm pretty sure I kept having to click go on the... Um, when we were flying the plane. What does spacebar do? Do the keybinds not work? Spacebar is the default button for staging, which I don't find terribly intuitive, so I changed it to enter, but enter doesn't seem to do anything. What if... Oh my god. <laughs> Yes. Launch achieved. So, does this work? Can I click this for staging or what? I think I'm tilting too fast. Fighting the tilting now, it's happening way too fast. Yep, I can click the button for staging at least. Why am we not thrusting? What? What? Where, where's my engine? Dude, where's my engine? Um, I think we should have bought this one. Okay. Let's revert to launch, and just as a quick experiment, ditch your engine, apparently. Actually, I need to go back to the VAB to find out why our engine dropped off. You kind of don't like it at the beginning? What? The dropkick launch, while impressive, may not be the best. What do you mean? It gets style points, which increases its efficiency. Pretty sure it was destroyed when the rocket hit the ground. Oh. That's why... That's why it was barely gaining altitude for a bit, because it had a bit more than one thrust to weight, because it had lost a bit of mass. Okay. I'm going to change it back to space and see if it behaves. There's nothing else that the enter key is reserved for that's, like, getting priority or something? Is there? Doesn't seem like it. I'm gonna change it back to space and see if that works. Alright. And... Space? Space. Nothing. What? I... Okay. I'll just click it, I guess. Um...
Why? Why are we not staging? There we go. What's our apparatus? 26k. I love that we can see all of this in more or less one place. Going east, right? Yes, yes, we are. Okay, cool. If we weren't going east, that would be bad. We want our apoapsis to end up being about 75k? Maybe a little bit more because we're going to lose some speed to atmosphere. bugs hopefully they can patch the worst of it quickly indeed i don't know if solid boosters have gimbal i'm pretty sure they don't yeah no wonder the steam reviews are so negative i mean they dropped an early access game for more than my weekly grocery about the same as my weekly grocery shop um let's see can i figure this out quickly enough or should we end up eyeballing it That's too much. What's the apoapsis? I need more info about the maneuver node. Ah, uh, that's fine for now. Let's just use it. You've added a maneuver node, you don't say. You can learn more about it in the training center. Fantastic. Uh, T minus 40 to burn. Okay. I've heard that... It actually tells you when you should burn properly now, um, as in it doesn't wait until the moment you get to the maneuver load when... Where is the maneuver load? I can't see it. Oh, here it is, here it is. So the maneuver node is a calculation of if you burn facing this direction this much as in this much change in velocity, delta V, you'll end up on this trajectory. Because the burn doesn't take 0.0, .0 seconds, you need to start early, like 50% early, if you're gonna get approximately the same thing. And in ye old KSP, uh, it didn't tell you... Oh, I missed it, I missed it. Oh crap, oh crap. No, no, I didn't. It's T minus. Could be fine. What's our altitude? 78k? You talked right through the node? Oh, I did too. Alright. Yeah, I did miss it. That, that said stop burn in. Alright, let's pitch up a little bit more. And we just need to f pay attention to our apoapsis, periapsis. And burn approximately horizontally. Required delta V 1440. I think we'll be fine. And if you look at it on the map, you're going to see, like... At some point... Oh no, in KSP1 it didn't show you where you would crash. So you would see like a loop that goes through the center of the planet and then eventually it would very suddenly widen. I can't pan down any more than this. Alright, what do we got? Periaps is 27k. Fantastic. I kind of accidentally made our apoapsis much higher. And we're going down right now, so we should pitch up. And that's going to sort of move the whole thing sideways a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pitch up some more. There 
we go. What's our peri? Our periapsis is in the atmosphere, but I think it would be better to wait. We're going to lose some some speed as we go through the atmosphere here, but we're still going to we're still going to be going back into space, and we can make an adjustment and be officially in orbit. Seventy fifty is a safe orbit. Sixty nine. 900 isn't, indeed. Um, mute, indeed. Even the start was incorrect, as it was right on AP, not on your node. Oh, whoops. I clicked on chat. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Why, why isn't it stopping thrusting? Oh, I see. Oh, crap. What just happened? Uh, not that much. I tried pressing Shift-Tab to bring up the Steam overlay so I could, like, mouse over chat, scroll up and see if I missed anything. And because Shift is the burn button... Yeah. You getting dragged by the Atmo? Yes. I should probably face uh, prograde, actually. Is this the autopilot? That'll give us a bit less drag. Although, I don't even care, actually. Like, our apoapsis is going to go down a bit as we slow down, but we're already heading back out. If anything, we've gone much higher than I wanted to. How much Delta V do we have left? 29... 2197 on the entire craft. I imagine that's for the entire craft. We are back in orbit. I could do a burn here to bring the periapsis up, but it's going to be a lot cheaper if we wait till we're higher up. All right, let's do let's do an EVA. And let go. And uh, J for jetpack? No, what was the button? We can click this, I guess. Yeah. You know what I would really like to see in the... Um... Your vehicle is out of fuel. That's That's not true. Speaking of which, where do we see jetpack fuel? Probably here. If you'd like to make another attempt at this flight, you can revert to launch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our ver vehicle's not actually out of fuel, though. Um, jetpack thrust, jetpack status. Do we have unlimited jetpack fuel? I'm not seeing any indication that it's finite. But yeah, uh, one thing I would really like to see... Oh, what was the up button? Shift? Shift. I, I would love to see six degrees of freedom when flying the jetpack, because being forced to an arbitrary plane uh, is really unhelpful sometimes when we're trying to get around our spaceships and stuff. Oh. Is this... Well, the camera's not going to follow it. At least we can rotate the Kerbal. What's the light button? It's not L. Let's check. Uh, input... EVA. Run, jump, rotate... Center camera in VAB for some reason? I and K, that doesn't sound... That was that thing I was saying doesn't sound right. I... And K. And for some reason, we've got, like, friction built into it, so I have to keep thrusting if I wanted to do a backflip. Reaper, thank you for the follow. Uh, settings... Input... EVA... What do we got? Translate up, down, rotate your... U and E. 
rotate roll. Yeah, I don't see any lights. Didn't the EVAs used to have lights? Q and E. Okay, that's like turn left and right. Rebinds doesn't even work. L? I tried L. Yeah. Rebinds need a search, indeed. Yeah, this is what L does, by the way. Think EVA refills in ship fuel. Oh, fuel top right. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. We're not going to find lights here, though. Let's get back inside before we finish off the last of our fuel. And... Oh. I was way closer than I thought I was. He looks drunk or something. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Uh, grab and board. Perfect. So, we get EVA fuel back when we get in the craft. Which means that get out and push still works. Fantastic. Let, let's just prove it, actually. Uh, what's our apoapsis? It's going down slightly. Wait, what? Ground 245 kilometers. 240,000. Okay. Um, so we're well and truly in space. Alright. Thought I saw this changing. It's probably because it's rotating or something. Uh, what's our craft's Periapsis is steadily dropping for some reason? No, it's finished. I think it's just the rotation from when we, like, bump it with the Kerbal. And then the autopilot is kicking in to aim at prograde. So the reaction wheels are throwing off... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Can I disable this? How do I... How do I turn off the... There we go. Oh, you can tell the autopilot to pull off the maneuver node? Or at least aim at the maneuver node. Yeah, though, that's fine. Alright, so our periapsis is 48.226k. Uh, presumably, if we push the craft from the back even just a little bit I keep wanting to press space to go up it's going to be a bit tricky at this angle <laughs> look at the gimbal losing its mind okay we're going to push just a little bit And we should see that the craft has a different periapsis. Forty-eight, two, three, two. Did that actually change like one meter per second? I probably should have looked at the apoapsis as well. Ferry is going up. Yes. So get out and push is still an option. Alright. Uh, I can push... Is it this way? I think it's this way. Push straight towards the planet. It should move the orbit over this way. Anti-normal?
need it sometimes? I thought I heard a different streamer maybe saying you is lights. Oh good, uh, that actually sounds vaguely familiar. Hold on. You is lights? It doesn't seem to be working. Sifa Cat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? We've come to scratch your furniture and sleep on your pillow. Fantastic. Soulburn, professional Dave. Good to see you again. Congrats on making it to space. Thank you. Let's hop back in here real quick. And... Oops. Be the board. Alright. Are we pointing... Oh, it's radial... Radial in, I think, that we're looking for. Yeah, there we go. The Goosen. Good to see you again. Not terribly surprised. Also, I don't think it was in an EVA context. Okay. Have you played the original? Yes, I have. Alright, so we're going to face radial, as in directly towards the planet. Whoa, that's suddenly really sensitive. Uh, we're going to accelerate in this direction. We're already moving this direction. Uh, and that's basically going to push our angle... Uh, like, the direction of our velocity is going to change from this to this. So our circle is going to move over this way. And... go. Fantastic. Periapsis is already way above the atmosphere. And that's it. That is officially an orbit. There's that burn planner. There is indeed. Should we try and land more or less at the space center? Where even is the space center? Let me just kill this maneuver node if I can figure out... What the heck is that? What... What the... What? Okay. Um, exiting sphere of influence. I think I broke our maneuver node. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I delete this one? Was gonna say, indeed. Looks like a warp tunnel. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool. Like, you could tweak it a bit, but... um. I think that's a bit much, but I like the general idea. Like, maybe something like this, but a bit smaller. And you can... I definitely appreciate... Oh, I see what they were going for. Maybe something a bit less, like, bright and... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say obnoxious, but like very kind of in your face and stuff. Like, if those rings were spread more around the entire sphere and they were more subtle individually. But I do really like what they were going for with that graphical display in general. Okay, how do I delete this menu? Oh, here we go, trash bin. Okay, there's our Kerbal Space Center. And I think we want a maneuver node around about here somewhere. We're going to decelerate. And we want... I can't see how high the periapsis would be. Uh... Something like that? Probably better if we slow down a bit sooner. We don't want to aim to crash, we want to aim to skim the atmosphere. Yeah, I really wish I could see how high this periapsis is while I'm editing the maneuver node. Not sure why I can't. Where is the moon? It is over here. I think we'll go there next time. Oh, we could make a space plane. I do love landing space planes. 
It is a whole process. Um, Alright. That seems reasonable. Um, it may or may not have us coming back down pretty close to the space center. Relatively. Stop burn in 17 minutes. Can I warp to maneuver? I can. Let's aim at the maneuver node. Was it inside the Coburn gravity well? Oh, the moon? Uh, yeah. Oh, you can see it, even if you don't have a maneuver node up. Wait, if I trash this? Yeah, you can always see the sphere of influence. Where the game starts simulating the gravity. I presume... I'm, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that... You know what? No, I'm not going to take a wild guess. I actually really hope they're not going to have, like, basically you're just affected by Kerbin here, but rather I would love to be able to set things up at the Lagrange points, where you can basically set something to hover steadily between, like, two two gravitational bodies. That would be very cool. It does make it way more complicated. Uh, uh, maybe it could at least be... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe it should be like a hard mode setting or something. Alright. Let's slow down here until... Periapsis is... Oh, can we see how high it is? No. Whoa, we're inside the planet. I, I really want to know how high that periapsis is while I'm editing the node. I can't even see it after I edit the node. Am I missing something? That's a big wish. There was a mod that did that for KSP-1. Sea of Influence feels small for the moon? This... I presume it's this thing? Yeah, probably. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, I'm guessing... Uh, it's gonna be like KSP-1, where basically the moon has no gravity on you until you're this close. And then... It's probably not going to be, like, simulating Kerbin's gravity on you. Sort of. Alright, uh... We're already set it to aim at the maneuver node, right? Let's try warp to maneuver node and see if it doesn't, like, overshoot because we don't have time to aim at it. Time walk limited due to proximity due to celestial body. No, I don't think that's the reason. Uh, yeah, we are 18 seconds away from we're supposed to be thrusting. And the ship is struggling to look at the maneuver node. We do have gimbals on the rocket, so as soon as I give it a little bit of thrust, it's gonna be able to turn a lot faster. You what? And I think that's it. I think we overshot. What's our parry? 1.8k. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we, uh... Oh, no. Wait, that's the maneuver node. Yeah, we definitely overshot a little bit. I think we're gonna f come back down... Way before... No, wait, we want prograde. We're going to come down way before the Kerbal Space Center from atmospheric drag. If we go for that angle. Reaction wheels are still pretty damn powerful. Like, probably about a hundred times more powerful than the real thing. 
I just imagined an atmospheric drag show. <laughs> Perfect. All the celestial bodies that have an atmosphere in the system can show up. Did you forget the basics of burning your fuel? Not really, I was just careless. Alright, let's very slowly increase our periapsis a bit, maybe like 30, 40k or so. about 45 and that might still give us the opportunity to overshoot the space center maybe 50 all right time warp until atmosphere there we go I wasn't originally going to have all of these stages left over. Uh, let's aim retrograde, actually. Whoa. Night landing? Yeah, everything seems to be happening at night. The frame rate seems to be better at night, so there's that might want to stage. Yeah, I'll use the bit of fuel we have here first. You liking the game so far? Um, there are bits of it I really do like. Uh, it has a lot of potential. Use the fuel to counterburn for an easy fall, indeed. Alright, let's burn a retrograde just a little bit. What's our altitude? 54k. And I don't know if we're going to run out of fuel in the big stage before I hit the angle that I'm going for here. Probably. That's probably fine. Is this early access? It's very early access. Yeah. There's no way I'd recommend it. I wouldn't have got it if I wasn't streaming it. Alright, I think we need to slow down some more if we want to land it. Whoa, that's a lot of game paused. Uh, I don't even know. I think it was the comma button I pressed. Yeah, something like that might get us close to KSC. Steam user's pretty choked about it too. Well, they're selling, like, the price point is as if it's a AAA release or something. And they've been waiting three years longer for it than when it was promised. On an airplane, you want the center of gravity to be in front of the lift. Yes. Uh, the reason I put the center of lift in front of the center of gravity just a tiny bit was because you can get away with that. And where, the, where I had the fuel tank, the center of mass was going to move so that in the end, you would have the center of mass behind the center of lift. But it's, it's more stable. Uh... If the center of mass is too far behind the center of lift, the plane is going to be trying to pitch, in, uh, trying to pitch down all the time. But if let's stage uh, this button. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's probably fine. Uh, if you want it to be more maneuverable, the center of lift should be further forward. But yeah. 
for that last design, um, the reason I put it where I did was the center of gravity is going to change. And I want it to be stable towards the when it's used up a bunch of fuel. Alright, that's looking pretty good. How's that re-entry heat? Not really experiencing any, to be honest. Thanks for the tips, you're welcome. Take two, more like two takes? What? A streamer only preview copy as a teaser? Uh, no, I had to get it... had to get it through Steam. Okay. I think we want to slow down a bit more. Quite a lot more now, actually. And... Once it's about here... Well, oh, did I just use all of my fuel? That's kind of perfect. Let's ditch the last stage. And turn off the autopilot. We're just going to let aerodynamics... One thing I never understood with my amateur messing around trying to understand aerodynamics is how this thing prefers to face its butt towards prograde. Uh, I'm sure to really understand it would be a lot more involved than the effort I'm willing to put in, maybe. But yeah, if we just don't control this, uh, once it hits enough atmosphere that we have to worry about heat, it's going to point where it needs to. We really should have seen some heat by now. Is it just not in the game? How can you tell when your parachute is safe to deploy? Uh, it'll be like green or something over here, not red anyway. Oh, there's the KSC. We're actually really close to it. I think we only need to lose like 10, 20 meters per second before we can activate the parachute. But yeah, it seems like there's heat shields in the game, but no need to use them, I guess. There's our little carbon. And there's giant eye. Okay, we're... I'm a little... I'm getting a little nervous here. There we go. And that's it. Valentina? Oh, it is Valentina. Heat isn't in the game. Really weird to include heat shields, but no heat, I have to say. You could probably activate it now and just speed time up, indeed. Oop, and we're good. Alright, recover vessel. There's our first... Wait, what am I recovering now? Recover vessel. Confirm recovery. Good. Perfect. Uh, let's go back to the space center. Sounds like a great landing. Bonk, indeed. First flight, not a good landing, but survived. That is a good flight. Thoughts versus KSP-1? Uh, it's good. Basically. Thonion? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, I do hope... I, I do hope the change to a new engine is going to have KSP2 able to do a lot of things that KSP1 wasn't. The way that 
KSP-1 eventually started, uh, not hitching, but it would, like, like, every few seconds consistently there would be a little pause after I had some amount of stuff going on in a career game. It was really pretty frustrating and not something you want to deal with when you're playing a flight sim, obviously. Ooh, pretty sky. Uh, what should we make next? Should we go space plane or should we go to the moon? KSP1's worst problem was tutorials. KSP2 seems to fix that. Um, yeah, I don't... When I started playing KSP1, it, you really had to, like, watch Scott Manley's videos or something. Um, I can definitely agree with that. And there wasn't enough information, like, uh, you needed mods to be able to see how much Delta V your craft had, for example. Moon? Okie dokie. Fly safe, indeed. Um... So we should probably use the same craft we just had. That was actually pretty good. Can, can I not bring that up? Oh no. Maybe I should have reverted. I guess I could try saying revert. Yeah, I don't think that's going to accomplish anything. Thanks, Feldek. So how much Delta V did we have? Like, way, 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 way more than enough, right? Did you save the craft? I didn't. We can probably slap it together pretty quick. Brody? Yeah. I'd say it's like a 20% step up in graphics for a 500% hit to performance, but hey, here we go. But it's super early, I guess they haven't optimized it yet. Um, so how much Delta V do we have? 6.2k. I think that's probably more than enough, right? Where's our planner? Uh, go to the moon. Destination Delta V 5.12. Launch vessel. Oh, okay. What about a return trip? 10,000. So we've got enough to get stranded on the moon. Um, but we don't have quite enough to come back back from the moon. Hmm. And we don't really have a lander in this thing, we've just got like a tube. Should we just go land on the moon first? Let's do that. We'll just revert and build a lander and stuff. And maybe a docking port so the, the main body can stay in space. Click round trip, indeed. Honestly, I'm a dis as disappoint uh, disappointed about KS2 that I thought I would be. Fair enough. Alright, let's fix the staging. Um, probably start thrusting before we break these. And... Go. And go. And go. Tilt ever so slightly east. And try and let gravity do the rest. Maybe that was too much. Where even is... Oh, wow. I picked, like, the worst time. 
to try and launch for the moon right now. It's fine, we'll just go around. We'll just get ourselves a regular orbit. Hold on. I might just lower the volume of... I was hoping that would be a specific setting for the thrusters, but I guess this will have to do. How's that? That seems a bit better. Oh. Uh. Uh, where's my stage? Get out of here. Okay. What's our apoapsis? 24k? So far so good. Should be fine. Now we quickly make a maneuver node. Uh, there we go. And I can't since I since we apparently can't get uh, a number on the periapsis from the maneuver node. I guess we just have to kind of eyeball it. The moment that it flips actually is a really good indicator. Like there, that should be pretty much circular. It's kind of close. All right, and we'll just aim prograde. We won't worry about obeying the maneuver node specifically. Fifty-three seconds till we burn. Required delta V twelve hundred and ten, and apparently it's like a three-second burn. So probably don't go full throttle. Let's speed it up a little bit. Tw Twinka? Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And go. Oh, we need a lot more than three seconds. So what's this O3 right here? Yeah, I, I should have known that intuitively we're going to need significantly more than three seconds. The stage number? Oh. Well, what good is that on the maneuver note? Or is it, like, telling us that we only need stage 3 for this burn? Also, our apoapsis is rising. I don't want that. Where's our apoapsis? Uh, I think it's behind us. Let's just keep going. Actually, no, let's, let's fly this thing manually. Right about here. I think we need to... Oh, the apoapsis is going crazy. It is on the other side. Harry is... Only 62k. Alright, I kind of messed that up a little bit. But it's fine. Good thing I didn't commit to it. The closer you are to the planet, 
the more energy you're stealing from it. To slingshot her around. What am I doing? Time warp two point. No, 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 no. Add a maneuver node. And it's going to be here-ish, I think. Something like that. Uh, I think it would be telling us if we had an interaction with the moon. There it is. So the moon's going to be over here by the time we get there. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely like what they're going for with the graphics. Uh, showing when you pop in and out of the sphere of influence. So, something like... It would be really good if I could see how close to the moon we were going to get. I... I guess... Did that crash into it? No? I'm... I'm very confused. That would probably go straight through it. Or something like that. Let's aim a little bit to the right. And... that's it. How soon? 24 minutes. Alright, let's time warp. Where's my Factorio stream? <laughs> Don't worry, it's coming. I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It should have told you how long the burn time would be prior. Not sure why it doesn't. Yeah, I really don't know, unless I missed it somewhere. Required delta V, start burn in, stop burn in. I, I guess you can wait until you get to the burn and look at this. That is, that does leave something to be desired. Okay, let's time warp a bit. Not so much that we would overshoot. We'll give ourselves uh, like three or four minutes to make sure the ship can reorient itself. In a real time. If you're going to go full throttle, you need to know burn time prior to maneuvers, yes. And stop. And maneuver node. And we start reorienting. To the surprise of no one, I hope, uh, as long as we're not looking at a planet anyway, it is silky smooth in space. Party. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, our ship is almost pointed at where the maneuver node is going to be. Uh, is... I think everything up to four times is physics time warp. So it should keep doing that while we get closer. Seems to be struggling to close the last little gap to point directly at the maneuver node. But it's not like drifting off it, which would happen if we're putting things on rails and keeping the ship pointing the exact same way. Well, now it seems to have caught up. Okay. Fast forward a little bit more. And I guess once we start the thrust, it's going to tell us how long the burn should be. 
Yes. And go? Nothing. Stop. Oh, here we go. Stop burning in 17 seconds. Okay. Uh, what? The display for the maneuver node just lost its mind um, when I went to map view. Oh no. Oh no, we're going to be estimating here. Um, I think I should kill this maneuver node. Make another one real quick. Where are we? Let's at least get it out to where we have an encounter. There we go. And then... Can I pan this around? There we go. Looks like... A little bit more. It's really hard to tell which way in we're going. I guess that's going to, like, miss it to the left. That could be reasonable. Normally we'd want to go around the right side. Just burn, you're in the right direction, indeed. At least you have extra fuel, yes. Only, di only the display is wrong, the timer says it correct. Oh, I see. Yeah, well, I guess I won't be jumping to the map, uh... No, I really should jump to that. Maybe we should start from the map when we're doing a burn like that. I could make a little adjustment here. So that we approach it from, like, this side, but I don't think it's really necessary. Alright, let's time warp. Again. And... See what kind of path we're going to have. That's better. Wob, 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 wob. And once we actually hit the Sphere of Influence, everything should pop. There we go. Oh, that's actually much closer to what I wanted. Uh, I want the Periapsis a lot closer. Or, I guess instead we could just slow down at the Periapsis instead of wasting fuel dragging it closer now. There we go. And there's no atmosphere around the moon, so there isn't really a whole lot of reason to not bring the periapsis real close. However, if we're going to land on the thing, uh, we're going to want more than like two meters of altitude with which to decelerate. So, I'm not sure how high that is, but that, from experience, looks pretty decent to me. What is this thing? What is this little circle that I think I made somehow? Set. Focus. It, it went away. Fantastic. Looks like you'd almost intercept with Minmus from the gravity boost there. Uh, that is one way to save Delta V to get to Minmus, I believe, yes. Meeting mountains at 2k per second, indeed. Alright, let's speed up uh, till we're close to our maneuver node. Pause. Oh, it can't slow down that fast, apparently. Aim at maneuver node. 
Where's the moon? Yeah, there she blows. And what a beautiful sight. It might be a little bit of a challenge to land safely there with no landing legs or anything. It's like directly quote unquote, uh, quote unquote below us, so the camera angle is a little bit awkward. Looks like we're ready. Alright, time warp a little bit. Oh, that's 30 minutes, not 30 seconds. Time warp a lot. That makes more sense. And time warp a bit slower. What is this? Universal time? Met? UT or Met? What is Met? Oh, mission elapsed time. 46 minutes. Okay. We are on target. And this time I might look at the map from the beginning. So it doesn't mess up the display for the maneuver node. Alright. Three, two, okay, one, you. and go. Should probably slow it down a bit here. Perfect. That's very perfect, actually. I don't think I've ever seen a more accurate burn. Holy crap. They're, they're almost the exact same spot, the periapsis and the apoapsis. Look at that. Not bad, even if I say so. Moon is only a 45 minute flight, indeed. Alright, um, so we're gonna go to the periapsis. And I'm not even gonna use a maneuver node actually. We're just gonna burn retro until we circularize. Time warp two point. Oh, the music. I don't really see anything right now. Alright, we're gonna go retrograde. The nav ball is slowly going to rotate, as is the ship. I hope you got lights. Nope. We're gonna land on the sunny side. this. Full control. Have control and connected to Comnet. Full flight functionality available. Object cycling. What is that? RCS, SAS, fantastic. Alright, how close are we to periapsis? Uh, about three minutes. Let's time warp a little bit. And actually, I probably started at like two minutes. I'm going to do a slow burn retrograde. Because I want this to be fairly precise. Apoapsis is actually dropping pretty quickly just from that. Oh, the stage ran out. 
Alright, get out of here, you. No, 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 no. I should really stage it so that we don't activate the engine. Which, for some reason, was on full throttle. Alright, I want apoapsis at about 23, 22k, something like that. Uh, if I don't wait for the periapsis, actually, yeah, because this started happening, this dropped way faster than I thought it would, so because we're burning before the periapsis, it's dropping ahead of us, which we don't want. Alright, so we're at the periapsis now, we burn a little bit more. And periapsis pretty much doesn't change. Apoapsis drops down to almost the exact same as the periapsis. Oh, we actually flipped it. Whoops. But yeah, now we've got a circular orbit, nice and close. And actually, all we need to do if we want to land with the autopilot is point directly retrograde all the way down. I'll wait till it looks like we might land somewhere relatively flat. There is an autopilot for the landing? Uh, sort of. Because we're landing in a place with no atmosphere, all we have to do is decelerate um, the whole way down. Like, the exact direction that we're going, we're going to thrust in the opposite direction. And it's going to, like, describe an arc as we go down. So I think either, like, here or here... I haven't done this in ages, so I think we'll aim for the really big flat area. That might not all be as flat as I was hoping for, actually. I think... I think once I do start decelerating, we're actually going to be landing much quicker than I thought. I think this area is this area, right? So we pretty much wait till we're almost on top of it. Oh, I left debris floating around. I'm already a space crasher. Hi hi, sound easier than it really is, <laughs> indeed. I think once we get about here, we thrust backwards. That is a very pixelated representation of debris over there. And it's like shimmering because it's not consistent. Uh, okay. Rust. And that is slowing down pretty damn quickly. Alright. We're just going to allow ourselves to drop. We've got a thrust to weight ratio of... What exactly? Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure we've got a massive thrust to weight ratio. The most efficient way for us to land is called a suicide burn, which involves thrusting literally at the last possible second. Because the more we control our speed as we go down, the more we're wasting fuel, prolonging the amount of time that gravity is accelerating us down. 
but I don't have the tools uh, to estimate a suicide burn, so... Alright boy, let's wait for a minute or two and just burn at the last moment? Yes! That's pretty much how it goes. How fast can we accelerate? Flight report? No. Resource manager? No. Yeah, what I really need to know is our thrust to weight ratio right now. I could put a note here and say what would it take to zero our velocity? How many seconds of burn would that be? But it doesn't even tell us here. Oh no. Okay. I think we should try a little experiment. How fast are we? 160? And that was down to 130. So we really, really don't have to burn for very long. Uh, and we don't have that much fuel. So we want to wait relatively late. Probably, I'll do a burn at like 2,000, to slow down a bit, and get a feel for it. Now we're down to 89. I think we're fine. And at 1,000, and at 500, only we're not going to full thrust this time. I think we're landing on a little bit of a slope. I forget how much speed the parts can tolerate, but it looks like we're going to be okay. There's our shadow, that helps. That gives us a really visceral feel. Oh! Fantastic. We did it. Alright, what's this? Fly safe on crashing trajectory. You what? Congrats, thank you. So seven seconds on the safe side. Yeah. You killed around 300 milliseconds in 10 seconds. Uh, meters per second? Yeah. We might even... I didn't think we had enough fuel to get back home, but uh, at the very least we can get lost in orbit around... technically around Kerbin. Let's, uh, let's do a little bit of jetpacking on the moon, where it is very easy to get ourselves killed, so be careful about that. Uh, how do I jump? Space. Okay. By far the fastest way to get around is by jetpack, and by far the fastest way to kill yourself. Nice landing gear, thank you. <laughs> Alright, should we plant a flag? Let's plant a flag. Site name... Uh, landing gear, what landing, god damn it, landing gear, lol, perfect, is anti-aliasing turned on, I think I turned it off because the frame rate was horrible, and I was trying to maximize it. Yeah, it is turned off, although I didn't really see much of a difference when I did turn it on, to be honest. Especially with certain angles. Valentina has hoverboard boots, indeed. 
Yeah, they actually clamp to the spaceships, which I think is very cool. And confirm landing on parts IRL is not recommended also. <laughs> no. Houston the Eagle has landed. Yes, it has. Uh, I'm trying to scroll chat, but it's not. I think if you exit the moons well in retrograde direction, you might manage carbon re-entry. Maybe. So our launch window is always going to be the same because the moon is uh, tidally locked. It always faces the same way compared to Kerbin. Can I jetpack over there? Without knocking the ship over? That would be a good idea. Where's the entrance? Uh, here it is, right where we can see it. Fantastic. All right. Up. And forward just a little bit. Oh, okay. Once again, my perspective and sense of distance is a bit off with the EVA. How do I... Uh... Yes? No? Yes? There we go. Grab board. Alright, so if we launch from here it's going to send us like that way. We have yikes. 649 meters of delta V. Meters per second that is. Um, is that enough to get off the moon? Can I make a maneuver node, like, right here to theorize whether it would get us off the moon? I don't think it's enough. On KSP, the ship would be on the ground right now. The ship would be on the ground? What? Loads? I hope so. Alright, let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? And I, I think we're in trouble. I think we're in a lot of trouble. I don't think that was enough, guys. Just gonna go straight 90 degrees east, basically. Yeah, uh, I don't think this is enough. We have... I forget how much Delta V... It's probably best to do it early, right? What just happened? Did the ship blow up? What? What? I think the ship blew up. <laughs> what? What? Uh, I, I tried to EVA and the ship blew up for some reason. Rust for Kerbin? I'm going to. <laughs> Alright. So I think we have to... Rust this way. Whoa. Yep. There goes some debris. What's our... Can we see our, like, trajectory? We can. It's getting higher. I can actually hold shift from this view. I think, I don't know. Oof. Uh, we've still got quite a lot of jetpack fuel left. I think we can get out of the sphere of influence. clear on I'm not clear on whether that's coming back down um should we wait and conserve a bit of fuel or I don't see another blue line I, I think we wait 
It is because you had it in the same direction as the moon. Hmm. Alright, more thrust then. I... I don't think... I don't think we're staying in the sphere of influence with that. It's the UI, she's way faster, yeah. Just wait. Yeah, I think we wait. We have more uh, Delta V than I was expecting, to be honest. Like, by a significant margin. Hi, how are you doing today? Have you experienced any optimization or performance issues? Uh, yeah, it performs pretty badly. Unless we're in... It's all graphical. Uh, unless we're in space with nothing in the background. Uh, frame rate's not great. Kyo Pano, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, to put it in perspective, this is on a machine that can run MechWarrior 5 Mercs uh, pretty handily. It has a few hitch issues, but I think that's the game. But the frame rate in general is quite high, like 99% of the time. Is going to recommend aiming for Kerbin. Uh, I would have to, like, walk all the way over here first, which would take literal hours, or if I were to thrust that way to begin with, it would probably cost a bit too much Delta V. Well, depending on how much we have versus, um, versus the gravity of the moon. Let's time warp. And... Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, we're exiting the sphere of influence of Kerbin. We are way too fast. Let's slow down. Um, but first I have to figure out which way slowing down is. Which I would say is thrusting towards the moon. Um, but I think as soon as I like, try to thrust, it's going to reorient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, like, forward and up a bit. Let's have a look at our trajectory here. Ooh, that's already pretty good. Okay. Holy crap! Um... <laughs> that's ridiculously good. So we are, we're going to do a lap and use the moon to slingshot ourselves back close to Kerbin. Calculated? Exactly. Exactly. Amazing the moon will slow you down? Yes. Don't do it? Why not? All right, let's go for it. Whoa, 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 that's kind of fast, that's kind of fast. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow, slow down. Um... We appear to be orbiting the sun. Wait, did that time walk... Did I miss it? Did that time warp actually swing me uh, past the moon and past Kerbin? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. How do we go about this? Valentina is a planet now. It's 78 days, indeed. Could we, like, accelerate this way? Maybe? Where even are we? Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see Urban from here. As anything but a little... Oh, is that it? I think that's Kerbin. That little ball. 
Alright, so... Basically thrust towards that a bit. And maybe we can get an intercept. Maybe not towards it so much as this way. Well... Burn away from it? You're slowing down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I want to slow down a little bit, um, but in a way that... If I thrust this way, I want to push this over here. That might take way more delta V than I have, though. If I straight slow down, this will just get smaller. If I thrust... this way... I'm pretty sure if I go straight towards the sun, that might actually be what I'm after. Let's have a look. Where is the sun? Where, where even is the sun? Oh, there it is. It's below. Okay. Uh, now it's kind of forward and below. Alright, let's have a look at our orbit. And then thrust this way for like two seconds. Why is it dancing like that? It's probably wasting thrust. That didn't really seem to accomplish anything. I can't remember... Oh, let's make a maneuver node. Okay, so if I thrust towards the sun... Why is it not showing anything? Uh... Okay. That's... That's not very helpful. That's not very helpful at all. We're down to half thrust. Kerbin will get past you? Well, it's behind us right now. The idea is to run into it, like, over here somewhere. That's like a year away, though. You know what? I'm just gonna, like, revert it. That was, like, a time warp. Oopsie. Not a... Not an anything else would oopsie. We did land on the moon, though. Need to be a lot more careful with the time warp settings when we're in space and on rails. They're a lot... faster. Okay. Had a moon break, but that means that the same orbit would have a boost eventually. Yeah, 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 we boosted past it. Oh, wait, I wanted to go back to the VAB. Let's make a proper lander. end there. Only the time warp went wrong, honestly. That was that was going to be the perfect maneuver, or it was all the perfect maneuver already. Okay. Um... 
let's start with one of these. Only we don't put the heat shield on this end. Or maybe we do. You know what? We know there's no heat in this game. <laughs> let's take advantage of it. That is a big one. Wait, that's a command pod? Four seat lander can. Guess we can't see inside. Let's just go with the basic one for now. And... Wait a sec, what about... One of these, and I think this was a solid rocket booster, right? Engines. Solid. Fuel booster. This thing? Let's see the stats on it. Max thrust. Uh, vacuum, 750 kilonewtons. Compared to... 221. We could definitely use that to boost off the moon, I guess. It looks kind of goofy. Does this, like, disconnect from the nose when it's done? Does it have a decouple built into it? it doesn't look like it. It's glorious? I love the so-called interplanetary transport network. It allows between Lagrange points with very little fuel, but it's very slow. Indeed. Next Kerbal. <laughs> oh no. The lander stage blowing up with the start of it. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why it blew up. I mean, we uh, didn't need that lander stage anymore, to be clear. It was out of fuel. But for some reason, when we EVA'd, it simply exploded. Which, uh... Is usually not what you're going for. I don't think I want to use this. Let's go with a regular command pod. A uh, little baby parachute. Some lander legs, perhaps? We didn't need any of this before, so I won't worry about it now. It's probably like heat, not actually in the game yet. I didn't even think of electricity, actually. Is that even a thing? Let's get ourselves some... Fuel... I kind of want a wider base to make it easier to land, actually. How do I trash this quickly? How about... Mark 1-3? Ooh. We're not lacking detail in the cockpits. Well, it might not yet be as detailed as sitting in the chair, but look at that. It's actually pretty good. Now then. Um, what's this? Is this for a giant rover? That actually looks really cool. Oh, it is for a giant rover. There you go, rover. And then we have a nice fat fuel tank. Um, 
not that one. We need a medium size, I think it is. Yeah, medium size. Maybe not that big. That should be reasonable. Okay, and we put some kind of engine on this. Probably the most efficient one we have for that size. Engines. Medium. All right. Shift. Shift. Uh, I can no longer get it to bring up the extra details. So, the number of keys that have been working has been in steady decline as we've been playing. I can't see the extra details at all. Did I just see an engine mount category? Engine mount? Yes. Um, not exactly sure how that works. Might be time for a relaunch, yeah. Can I see how efficient these engines are? ISP, was that the stat for how much we get out of it? Like, fuel efficiency? 265 seconds... 282... It's also lighter. It has less uh, thrust. What's our total size so far? Engineer's report. Thrust weight zero. Total mass is only 11 tons. So dropping 3 tons... Um, is obviously going to be desirable. We've still got way more thrust to weight ratio than we would need to get off the ground on Kerbin, never mind the moon. And this one's even lighter, so we probably want to go with that. Even if the ISP is technically lower, uh, reducing the mass is going to make everything else that much more efficient. Uh, we've got almost 3k meters per second out of this. That's a lot, actually. And this is 2471. So even though the ISP is lower... Uh, oh, that's one atmosphere I was looking at. Even so... 322 versus 34... Oh, it's actually more efficient. Never mind. It's lighter and more efficient if we're using it from the moon. So that is definitely the pick, if we're using a medium engine. We don't necessarily have to, even if, uh, even if we're going to have a wide fuel tank like that. Oh, this is an old favorite, the Terrier. Very, very light. 3.4k meters per second versus 2.998. Uh, thrust to weight is 0.254. How heavy is the moon compared to carbon? I think we'll just go for this anyway. It should be fine. But we could probably get away with that. The Terrier. Um, and then we need some landing legs. Electrical, thermal, ground, wings and air intakes, payloads, coupling, structures. I don't think it's under structures. A tube, you say? Oh, it's like... Wait, what? I thought it would be procedural, but procedurally editable. Oh, it's like a fairing. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Also, we need a parachute on this. A 
small. Uh, not that small. <laughs> no. There we go. It's probably enough for this thing. We could probably use some thrusters. 0.5 tons versus 0.3, but this only has one direction. I think we'll just go for a few of these. Grab the old radial symmetry. Uh, bring it around the center of mass might be a good idea. Fantastic. Uh, and the reason I was going to do that was so that we could dock this thing. And I'm realizing I don't know where I'm going to dock it. Radial attachment point. That's for docking something else to this, I think. Docking port... I, I vaguely remember what this is for. Engineered a defecting docking port found behind the Clamptron factory. They're not only discovered why it would never let go, <laughs> they were able to use it. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so maybe like this? But then how is the Kerbin getting back uh, the Kerbal getting back to Kerbin. If that's going to be the Docky Dock. And then use the other chute. Uh, that might not be the worst idea. Yeah. And you know what? Instead of cheating, we're going to pretend heat is a thing. Um, heat shield. Medium. Right about there, and then we need a decoupler, medium, right about there, uh, and then parachutes around the side. This is 0.3 tons, so I think we should have at least three of these. Locking the windows, how rude. Wait, I was trying to go for three. Uh, close enough. Center of mass moved up a little bit. gonna want this whole thing on the front of a big rocket. Like that. Um, so probably not with the... Wait, why is this upside? What the? What? No. Can I turn that upside down? There we go. Alright, so we're gonna have another... Can you save that module now? I might do. Vehicle. Land. Save. Save. Get this out of the way. Um, workspace. Whatever. Just to weight ratio is less than one, vessel will not leave launch pad. Yes, I know. Thank you. Speaking of landing, landing gear. Yeah, I was looking for those. Landing legs. Perfect. Uh, what? No. 
Where are the landing legs? Here we go. Holy. Those are bigger than I thought they would be. Very cool, though. How about the medium? Medium might be what we go for here. Where's the front? I think it's here. Let's get rid of the center of mass so we can see this. Maybe move it up a little bit. All right. Wait, no. Right click. Extend. And that is actually barely below the engine. Let's drop this down a little bit more. That's a bit better. All right. Retract. Did your RCS symmetry get changed? Yeah, the center of mass has probably moved a little bit. All right. Now this thing's off center. Extend. Looks okay, I guess. Down a little bit more. And then. Oh, that's right on the. That's right on the ladder. I really want that. These damn parachutes don't fit anywhere properly. About like this. That's probably fine, right? Right in the way of the. Right in the way of the thrusters. Symmetry isn't being remembered, it just changes to whatever you currently have selected for symmetry. Indeed. That actually looks better, I think. Oh, wait, no. If this is going to separate, these need to be attached to this. Which means there's, like, nowhere to put them, honestly. About here. That doesn't look too terrible. So the parachutes were three-way symmetry, but now you touched them, so it changed back to four, indeed. Okay. That seems pretty decent. And then we take it and turn it upside down. And put in... Uh, connector thing, right? Coupling. Clamp Otron. That's what we dock with, right? Seems good. And then. Some kind of. Fuel. Tank. That starts small. Unless we can clamp with a big old connector. No, that's probably fine. Is this the one? Not quite. Where was that? I should favorite it when I find it. It was like a medium to large or small to large a uh, small to medium connector is this it no definitely not 
Also, it seems to be getting slower, like it's more hitchy as I put the parts back. And as I pick them up. It's definitely getting worse. Where the hell was that fuel tank? It was like this, so no, not like that. The cone? Yeah. It's not this one, was it? Oh, I guess that'll do. I thought there was a longer version of this. MD size, there you go, yes. Alright. So then, a nice long medium one. And... is that big enough? Let's toss an engine on it. We definitely want the one with the highest ISP in vacuum for the size. I mean, I could even do like a small one, but I think that's a bit overkill. Also, it would take a really long time to pull up a maneuver. Alright, so this has 3.3k. Or does it? It might be confused because we've got this up here. Control from here. Can't really do that for starters. Um, should we make something bigger for this section, or just give it some rocket, bo uh, some solid boosters? Hydrogen. What the heck is that? Whatever it is, it looks kind of cool. And that's right, we'll find out if it still hates having the capsule upside down. Yeah, normally you would like right click this when you're in flight and say control from here. For the, um. Uh, to reorient it. Oh, if we're going to be using this to help get off-planet, we're going to want a bigger engine. Like... This one, probably. And then we'll throw on some more boosters. Those are some big ones. Maybe we'll go for the long, small. And we're going to need to couple them with some of these. But how heavy is this? 0. 0.4 ton. And this one's really light. I think we might for that. Grab the really long booster. Place it right about here. Seems good. Give it a little nose cone. Not quite that little, sir. Is that gonna... There we go. And then... Don't forget some struts. I think I'll restart before we launch this thing, because every click 
from the parts menu is getting slower. This is actually really hard to put where I'm trying to put it. Close enough. What the? What? What? No. Why? Why are you like this? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, stop. What have you done? There's, there's a strut in the air, the Eliza. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. And I hope those struts are connected. It looks like they are. Beautiful symmetry. <laughs> and we'll put some more struts down below. I hope that's in the right place. It's actually really difficult to tell. You know what? This will have to do. I'm not going to obsess over that. It's really, really difficult to get the angle. Fox knife, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That looks a little bit cursed, but it should work. And can we put something like a fairing up the top? Um, I saw something that might be fairings. It should be under aerodynamics, right? Doesn't seem to be under aerodynamics. Structure? If it is a fairing, I would think it would be under aero. So this is probably barking up the wrong tree. Here it is, tube. Yeah, I think that's just going to be like a permanent structure. Um, unless this adds something that we can decouple. No. I don't... I'm not entirely sure what this is for. One would think it's for temporary shelter. I guess we'll just have to launch it like this. We do have fairings. Wait, 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 wait. Bring it back. What's it under? Surely it's under aerodynamics. Intake wing stabilizer control surface tail section. Uh, payloads? Fairing. There we go. So, what? Medium up here? And then... Like... Like what? I see, I see. Okay. Why can't I close it all the way up at the... at the top? Um... Oh, okay. And then, where is the fairing on the staging? I... Here it is. Yeah, yeah, we can remove that once we're ready. Maybe you would have to manually put in a decoupler with the tube. Uh, no, it looks like this is all it takes. R probably. Whoops, I think we broke it. That should be okay. Mm, assuming we can sort out our staging. Sheep say Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh, technically, I would normally like fairings covering this part, but we can probably just ignore it. Probably. Some fins on this thing. Just, just some small control surfaces. Might not be the worst idea either. Certainly, you would want these in Ferrum Aerospace. But I don't think in regular KSP it's going to be strictly necessary. Actually, I'm sure it's not going to be necessary. Alright, how much Delta V is this? 4.8k. I'm guessing... Is it because the staging is wrong? I don't know if it knows how to... I don't know if it knows how to calculate it properly. Can I move this up? How do I move... Why can't I move this one around? Okay. Uh, we definitely want... We need more stages, that's for sure. Parachute last. And decouple the last bit before the parachute. The fairing should probably come after we drop off the solid boosters. What? No. I guess it could come at the same time. No, we should stage it separately. I'm, I'm trying so hard right now to... There we go. Okay. Let's see. We start the main engines and the boosters. We get rid of the boosters. We toss the fairing. We do not activate this engine next. That's going to be... Well, that's not going to happen until, like, after we decouple this, land, come back, recouple it, fly back, blah blah blah. That's all going to be very manual. Well, that should be fine. It's making me want to touch KSP, <laughs> indeed. Alright, um... How can I make it recognize these as separate vehicles and tell us different Delta V? I don't know. Let's just try it. And I'm realizing I probably broke the... Oh, nope, they're back. We've got the... We've got the connections. Staging, that looks good. That looks... Fine... All right, I'm going to save this real quick. Uh, Moon Mission. Save. And I'm going to restart KSP2 real quick because it's getting worse and worse. Might behave a little bit better after a restart. It's probably a good time for a little break. Let's see if we can fire up words on stream while it's doing that. Should have prepared it earlier. It might be super slow. Yeah, it's being super slow. Let's just jump back into it. Might grab a drink in the meantime.
Oh, that's encouraging. Okay. That really does look nice. Although, I don't think it's simulating Kerbin in the background here. I'm gonna say just because this is perfectly smooth and the frame rate craps itself whenever we've got the planet in the background. Alright. Did I forget to save? Is that going to be a problem? Let's find out. We should still have the vehicle. You saved? Fantastic. The button was save and exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. around the edges still, indeed. I could definitely see myself spending a lot of time on this, as once it's actually a proper game, and there's mods and stuff. And it doesn't run like... a game from ten years from now on a computer from ten years ago. Uh... what? Uh, oh, oh, okay. 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 Our ship is still here. That's good. That's good. Um, I don't know if we need to add anything else. Well, there's one way to find out. Let's launch. I don't need any pointers right now. He told me this last time. Okay, thank you. And then. Uh, technically I should have had clamps, but obviously this is looking pretty stable. Full throttle. And... That is east. Okay, cool. Go. Do we have empty seats? Is Valentina all alone? Poor Valentina. Is it... is it gonna go? What? What? Where... where is our staging? What? 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 What happened to our staging? I checked it, it's not even there. Where are your stages, right? Revert to vehicle bay, I guess? Check your stage in? I did check my stage in. Someone forgot to refuel? As perfectly as the devs wanted it? Oh no. Now you can give Valentina some company, I guess. Just toss in the screaming Kerbal for a second there. Alright, uh... Where do... So here's our staging, which is wrong again. Oh good, it's ungrouped all of the solid rocket boosters for some reason. What the... Okay. 
these two should go together. And then it's also split all of these decouplers. Thanks for that. Okay. The UI is definitely more responsive since I restarted. Memory be leaking. Okay, that looks right. How do we put more Kerbals in? Delta V blank. Well, it says there's 2767 Delta V. Kerbal Manager. Here we go. Is there not... There we go. There's Jebediah. We'll be safe and sound with his expertise. Where's Bob? Or Bill? We didn't kill them. I mean, not without saves coming. Whatever, just fill it. Ben, Ben, Bernie, come. There we go. And launch. Maybe they're still waiting in the landed ship. Uh, the landed ship. I thought I did. Reclaim all of those. Alright, let's check our staging. That looks good. That looks excellent. Okay. Go. And begin! Oh boy. Um... Why is it... The camera's the wrong way. Also, it's very sensitive. Oh no, I should have put fins on it. Now it's going... Why is it going left? What possible reason could it have to go left right now? Thought you did put fins? No, I decided it wouldn't be necessary. <laughs> I couldn't tell you why it would violently go one direction in particular. Especially against the gravity turn. Uh oh, spaceship why? <laughs> Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we're gonna put. We're going to put fins on it. You know what? I think we only need the fins so long as we're using the big solid rocket boosters until we get high in the atmosphere. So let's ditch that mass as soon as... As soon as we're high up enough. Why am I not moving the camera? There we go. That's pretty big. Let's go for a small. Uh, not quite like that, please. Okay. <laughs> oh no, the way it split these. Uh, I guess we can... That is... Not entirely helpful. I think Kerbal Space Program 1 had the same problem sometimes. Let's just try to put these at the same height. This is so dodgy, we're going to have to eyeball it. It's a little low on this end. No, no, what? 
like, if I want it to be perfectly symmetrical, I'm gonna have to tear down all of the boosters and place them again. Why can't I select these wings now? Okay. What if I use the slidey thing and snap it? We should be able to get them to be both the same, right? Nope. It's just moving it by the same increment. Oh my god. Why why do you yank the camera back up there just because I use undo? Uh, why you like this? Okay. Fighting the UI. Can I give it smaller increments? There we go. I think that's close enough. Shouldn't cause any aerodynamic problems. We hope. We can use the top down view. Would that help? Oh, those control surfaces might be a lot more sensitive than I thought. Uh, let's just see how it goes. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I think... I think we're having some, some issues here in the wind. That's how Apoaps is going to be by the end. Not that high. We're going to be really far off 90 degrees though. Oh my god, no, no. Been stabilized? Yeah, but it's stabilizing in entirely the wrong direction. Seems like it worked. The astronauts are throwing up, though. Indeed. Spin stabilization is fine if you want to keep it going the way it's going. There's no time for caution. I think we've got at least two minutes. Alright. So... Control surface. Oh, the entire th thing is a control surface. Alright, let's tear that out. Well, there's your problem. Stabilizer. Extra small should be enough, honestly. You know what? I think I am gonna. It. It was already radially symmetrical with these four. So how the hell were the fins being put on wrong? Alright. Camera controls. All right, extra small stabilizer should be more than enough, honestly. And they're all over the place. <sighs> okay, I'll just try and eyeball it. Does that have a control surface? I don't think it necessarily needs it, honestly. It's too small. Okay, that's a pretty... Uh, it's an okay control surface size, I think. I 
don't know how it can recognize how we want to do the radial symmetry for struts, but not not the fins. Speaking of which, we need to redo the struts. Okay. And there's no... Wait, really? No, I already tried it. I didn't just forget. Oh my god. Why are you like this? What if we do this from, from the middle? That should work, right? Let me down. Your goon. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Right, put that about there. And this... Uh, what are you doing there? Get out of here. Alright, that should be at least functional. And that should be more than enough stabilization. Let's try launching. Alright, staging... What... How... There's a bunch of solid rocket boosters hidden in the middle of the craft now. <sighs> okay. Okay. Free Delta V? It's definitely not going to be free. If we're lucky, it'll weigh us down. If we're not lucky, it'll explode. Sneaky boosters, indeed. Good thing we checked our staging. I would have stated that the opposite way, but then I'm just a viewer? Stated what the opposite way? Oh, right. Whether it explodes or not? Okay, get out of here. Uh, what? Fine, we'll start over with the damn boosters again. We need, first of all, some light decouplers on the diagonals. Where, where are the diagonals? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three. That looks okay. Booster. The long one. Right about here. Seems good. Aerodynamic crab. Rotate it. Not like that. Not like that. Like that. Seems good. Uh, struts. Like... So, what? No, no. You know what? The struts will disappear when we decouple anyway. No, actually, let me try and fix it. What? Cheap. What? No. Why... Why are you like this? 
what if I do something like this? Lovely. Cool. Nice. Great. Fantastic. Now it's trying to connect to, like, the middle of nothing. Probably because I tried to connect it to this. What if I try from the outside? It's still going to do the crisscross thing on half of them. Fine. And down below. Why did it leave that connected? Are we going to have a bunch of random strut pieces? Yes. Yes, we are. I haven't noticed anywhere near as much personality in the kerbals and vehicles running around in the vehicle bay. In fact, that's the first thing I noticed moving down here. Alright, let's just do it like this. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? And then... The wings, or rather the fins, with any luck will actually connect in a sensible way. Yes! That means we can actually have symmetry with these. And... probably... probably looking for really minimal control surface on this. It's more for stabilization than anything else. And I don't want the AI, uh, the autopilot, overreacting and overcorrecting and overcorrecting. Control surface, I could just turn it off. Yeah. Well, it's going to make it pretty hard to turn if I do that. Let's just... Let's just reduce the size of them. That should be okay. If lucky, it explodes. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, is this our craft? Do we need to do staging again? Alright, all the big engines. Get rid of the boosters. Uh, get rid of the fairing. And then activate... The little thing's engine, decouple, parachute. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Save it. And nothing bad will happen this time. And go. Just a little bit... Yeah, why is the camera facing the wrong way? It's very confusing. But yeah, it seems like this time we have started our gravity turn. You know, I could have sworn I turned down the audio for the engines. There we go. And in that time, we've started facing the wrong way, something severe. Okay, okay, okay. The main thing is to face east. And don't point too far down too early. These boosters last a while. Apoapsis is already 60k. You should probably start turning a bit more. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we definitely could be turning more by now. Okay. Okay. 
normally it takes longer. And decouple. What's our altitude? Uh, 44k already. We can probably... Well, we could ditch the fairing, but if we're not thrusting, it doesn't really... The weight doesn't really matter. The capsule is upside down. Oh, I didn't do control from? Control from here. Do we have that? There it is. Duh. I even said that we had to do that earlier. Does that mean we're going the wrong way? No, we... We seem to be going... We are going the wrong way. Oh, no. That's why... Uh, Virgil... Virgilunt? Thank you for the follow. One tiny detail? Yes. That makes everything make sense. Oh dear. Dear oh dear. I definitely want to pull this mission off before we finish today. Alright. Control... I, I should have realized this whole thing being brown. Control from here. Can't even really see the numbers here properly, but I'm pretty sure... That's 135, that's 45, so that's 90. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Makes sense if you live in Australia. How dare you. No countdown this time. Alright, we have to turn more aggressively than we did last time. Because these engines, these solid rocket boosters have a lot in them. And perhaps this is only 8k so far and we're turning too fast and I, I'm fighting it right now. Okay, there we go. That should be fine. Not the best turn of my life. But it's probably okay. Are we going to get to space before I run out of... Yeah, I think so. Oh, I went over. That looks a bit scary. Also, we're now spinning. Um, I'll wait till it rotates once and then tell it to go prograde. Oh, it, it actually slows it down. It doesn't overcorrect. I mean, it... It was too little too late, but... Now I might have to intervene manually here. We? Oui, indeed. Not a fan of the new navball. Readability is bad. Yeah, the readability is kind of sketch. Was it a lot better when I had anti-aliasing on? Oh, I do have anti-aliasing on. Oh dear. It's very... Uh, it's kind of a mixture of blurry and you get the pixelated diagonal lines. But I like the UI in general over here. Putting all this information so we're, we're not looking at 17 different parts of the screen. That's actually quite helpful. All right. We're already in space, so let's point straight horizontal, maybe even down a bit, 
and start to circularize. And... Uh, I don't think I brought enough Delta V. This was supposed to get us to the moon, not into orbit. Uh, so if I decouple this, undock. Moon mission one crash. Oh, uncrashing trajectory. Okay. Yeah, you told me this last time. Thank you. Thank you. How do I switch to this vehicle to control it? Let's pause. Can I right click? Control from here? That's not the same vehicle, so it doesn't really work that way. Uh, I think there was some button, like page up, no. Settings, controls. Anti-aliasing is not currently working. Well, there you go. Light. Uh... Focus next vessel or previous is square brackets. Okay. Perfect. Alright, how much delta V do we have here? 2.2k. I'm pretty sure that's nowhere near enough. We should probably make this section bigger. Or have another stage in between. Probably another stage makes more sense. Double click works for changing vessel? That's easy. Yeah, I think we'll do another stage with uh, that half ton engine. With the low acceleration and the not that great um, specific impulse, but because it's so light, it actually turns out to be really good. up to a point. So we're going to de -con or disconnect this here. Move all of this up. Actually disconnect this here. That should have stayed where it was. Is that connected properly? I don't think so. Uh, did I break it? What? Where is it now? Did it just go like in the middle somewhere? Okay. Undo. 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 Okay. Connect this back here. And... Probably another little fuel tank here. Medium size. Like that. And a smaller, more efficient engine. Probably not the half ton, actually. What's its ISP? Because I think that might be more important with this much mass. 170 seconds? Ouch, no. Um, I think... Uh, that's actually like the same as this one. 1.75 tons, half a ton. Um... Let's see, does it tell us the delta V for this section right now? 2.6, 3.2, and 3.8. Yeah, um, 
That's gonna be better. Although it looks a little goofy. We're just gonna have a longer burn, that's all. And then... Coupler. What was that? Current search found no results. Try another search. Okay. Uh. Up. Medium. Chuck it in there. That didn't end up looking the way I thought it would. Just pretend there's like a fairing over that or something. Oh, I was muted. My bad. Alright, I th think we're ready. What about the staging? What the f- what, what? What is this? How did this get here? Get out. Wait, does that mean we don't have a little engine in here? We do. Oh my god, the staging is all over the place. Oh... God, oh no. Bring them all together again. Alright, so that's those four. That's the decouple. I think I will put it with the fairing. Pretty sure we don't need the fairing that badly. At about the same time that we run out of the solid rocket boosters. This needs to be in its own thing, so does this. Your SR being Kruatuma? <laughs> Indeed. Alright, so... Big engines. Uh, decouple the boosters plus drop the fairing. Decouple... All that other stuff. Enable the next engine. And then enable the next engine. And then decouple. And Okay, I think we're ready. Once more with feeling. Where's the part where I choose kerbals? Here it is. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And control from here. Control from here. Fantastic. And go. I said go. Tilt slightly to the east. Let's try and do a better gradual turn this time. They shouldn't have released it in its current state. It's an uphill battle now. Trying to gain trust. Yeah, I would agree. Absolutely.
and especially not for full game price. This is looking a lot better. Maybe I should have done a bigger fuel tank for the big engine that we already have. And then again, if we stage it, we lose the mass of that big engine. And that's pretty good. 85k to orbit. Uh, focus prograde for now, please. It's so weird, like, they've forgotten the features of KSP-1. I mean, if you have to port it all to another engine... But it's not like I'm excusing the amount of time they had and the promises they've made. Alright. That's more like it. We've got our apoapsis at 85, or 81 actually. It'll be a bit lower, just a little bit lower by the time we get up there. And I've actually got uh, zero fuel left in this stage, so I should probably get rid of it. Okay. And what's this? The fairing? What, is that the fairing? Yeah. Is that gonna pop off? Uh, don't tell me it's stuck on the... Oh no. I wonder if it'll explode and just be gone the moment we try and activate this engine. Let's hope. Seemingly they spent a lot of time and achieved not a lot. Certainly would not have paid for this. Yep, I wondered given the way that attached. Yeah, well since it was a fairing I thought maybe it would dispose of itself. Alright, let's start thrusting. Probably already put the periapsis behind. Yeah, maybe I should aim a little higher right now. Oh, I forgot how slow this thing is to accelerate. I should have started thrusting ages ago. Oh no, that's the downside of this engine. Oh no. We've got like 514,000-ish meters of periapsis to burn through. Uh, it does accelerate. I don't know how bad this is going to be, actually. We're at 75k, we should have time. Flip it around and use the other engine? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I have time for that. Also, the other engine would actually be using the fuel that we need for the lander. Assuming that the fairing... Assuming that the fairing is not gonna be stuck there. Hopefully we can, like, blow it off with the engine or something. Ten past and only the moon for sixty id... I'd still get it? What?
Yeah, I forgot just how long it would take to accelerate with this engine. It's lack of mass and ISP, decent ISP saves us a bunch of Delta V, but we do lose some to just how long it takes because we get a less precise, um, oh no, oh no, okay that was even worse than I thought. Let's try and do something about that fairing anyway. I have a feeling the fairing is entirely optional, like, um, I don't think aerodynamics is really affecting us that much. I got KSP for seven dollars, yeah. Exactly. Alright. So, are we supposed to have a deep Coupler for this, or or what? I'm guessing. Let's try the decoupler. Um, is it under payloads? No, I don't think so. Should be yeah, coupling, medium, like that, and then the fairing. Okay. I would have thought the decoupler was kind of implicit in the fairing. I think it has been in mods that introduced bearings before. And that can go there. That's probably fine. Alright. We need to launch a bit higher if we're going to use that piddly little engine to efficiently get us into orbit. All right. No stage tech go. Uh, control from here. That took a very long time. There we go. I'm not sure how you managed to make bringing up a little menu like this a resource intensive process that has to freeze the game. Alright, so I'm aiming for like at least 80,000 for the apoapsis. They had dev team switch from KSP 1 to 2, probably that makes keeping the same features complicated. Oh, as in it's a different team. I think I've probably tipped over more than enough, actually. And there goes that stage. And focus prograde, please. There goes that stage. Why is it struggling to turn so much? Because we're still in the atmosphere, we're probably getting mucked around by it. They tried to, tried to keep key members, but it's easy to misjudge who is a key member. Hmm. Alright, reaction wheels are catching up now. 70k is definitely not enough for our weak little engine. We're going to need a lot more time to achieve orbit. So I'm just going to keep thrusting prograde.
you know, this engine might be even worse than I thought for this use case. Like, I may be starting the burn too late already. Just maintain the same direction even as prograde drops below where we're aiming. Is our apoapsis staying ahead of us? We're probably going to pass it. We're definitely passing it very, very soon. If anything, I should be thrusting even higher. Which means we're putting less energy into achieving orbit and more into staying up. Okay, yeah, I think I've asked too much of this little engine. Let's just time warp and find out how right I am about that. Why is it spinning all of a sudden? What? Okay, fine, let's just assume. Revert to VAB and we'll put in a stronger engine. Harvester was the key member, and he left. Ruh row. Why not spin when you can? <laughs> because we needed more than every precious second that we had to thrust to get to orbit, and then we were spinning as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do what I said I was going to do earlier. I'm going to get rid of this extra stage here. And just give this stage more fuel. It's got a good engine already. Alright, check the staging. Um, that looks fine. Don't need these two. And that should be it. And then our struts are complaining again. That'll do. Let's try that. And don't forget control from here. And go. And go. We don't have to worry so much about getting lots of altitude to start with this time. If anything, we should focus on more horizontal. And this time we'll actually have some fuel left in this stage when the solid rocket boosters stop. We won't be missing out on precious boosting time while we're headed upward. Okay, fantastic stage. Beautiful. Did something break up here? What? We have no engine up here. I don't think we need a redesign. I think I just need to be more careful with the staging of the fairing.
I won't be lazy and just stage it when the boosters drop off. Westley, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, um... So the fairing... Let's just add a stage for the fairing and yet another stage to decouple that bit of the fairing as well. Let's play it safe. certainly is excited, indeed. I think this is the one. Yeah, I think it is. Up collapse is 80k. And stage. Whoa, 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 stop rotating. Holy crap, why? Okay, alright. down. I'm going to have to thrust for the gimbal. There we go. Alright. Let's wait for the apoapsis. Maneuver node go. Give us a circularization. Close enough. T minus two minutes till burn. Cool, cool, cool. And we've actually got quite a bit of fuel left in this section. Kind of like how I thought it would be the first time. Practical jump scare? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's time warp a little bit. Let me just double check all this. Oh, we're already in space, so we can ditch the fairing. Okay. And the decoupler. Which actually slowed us down a little bit. And that mass being gone means... We'll get just that little bit more delta V, a bit more acceleration. I jump scare? Fair enough. Did you get the Kerbal back to Kerbin with the jetpack? Not quite. I sort of slightly time warped way past it, unfortunately. Arena? Welcome in. Alright, 37 seconds until we uh, maneuver node. Let's warp a little bit. And. What? 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 What just happened? Why did we explode? Why, why did we explode? 
time warp is busted. <laughs> okay, let's uh, try again. So much for the physical time warp being safer than I remember. So, so far we've had uh, a vessel just explode when we tried to EVA out of it, but the Kerbal survived. And we've had vessels spontaneously combust when... Uh... Sorry, uh, vessels, uh, vessels spontaneously combust when we try to time warp, even though we were in space, and there was like... Like, we could have done on-rails time warp, which would have done no physics simulation, but... Because I only wanted to time warp a little bit, it did do the physics simulation, and everything exploded. The Kraken is back, indeed. Nearly everything is busted. Ugh... <sighs> Let's hope we can get to the moon, despite all of this. With a more consistent, gradual, gravity-ish turn this time. A stream yesterday where the complete KSC was teleported into space and the vessel without fuel kept accelerating to over 65,000 meters a second and went into stellar. Oh crap, I gotta focus. We're wasting fuel drifting all over the prograde mode right now. It's actually looking really good. Let's stop at 80k. And stage. And rotate for some reason again. Slow down with the rotating. I might have to. I might have to thrust just to gain control with the gimbal again. Okay. I'm not sure why that uh, decoupling induces a rotation because it doesn't seem like aerodynamics or anything else is doing that once all that stuff's gone. Alright, maneuver node. Great maneuver node. And... Okay. Close enough. A little bit more. Can't even see where the ferry is. But if it's about to swap... And that should be close enough. That'll give us a guide, anyway. T minus 45. We're not going to physics time warp this time. I just downloaded KSP again. What mods are you using? I haven't played in years. Yeah, I wonder what the mod scenes are like. What, what mods are good for KSP these days? Maybe I should just start playing KSP. I could honestly see myself filling the Monday void with that. Or Tuesday, rather. Oh, I did that a bit early. That's probably fine, actually.
Time to apoapsis is increasing. So we probably want to. Whoa! We probably want to wait a little bit before we circularize. Why does it say no fuel? Yeah, let's wait till we get closer to the apoapsis for a good circularization. We're pretty much there now. Let's focus prograde. And give it just a little thrust. There we go. Whoa. Okay. And a very circular orbit. Nice. Best orbit we've had all day. Now where's the moon? We're probably gonna want to start thrusting right about here-ish. There's our encounter. And I wish we could see exactly like what it's gonna look like once we're on the way to the moon. I mean, we can try moving the camera here-ish. It's still just about as awkward as it always was trying to tweak these things. That is a big area where they could have made improvements. Does that bring us closer to the moon, or...? I don't think so. Okay, uh, there we go, I can see a path. Oh, we're going to crash into the moon. Isn't that nice? Um, I want to be on this side of the moon when we get there. Is that okay? Okay, let's think about this. If... If we're dragging, like, if we're not going to reach it from here, and then we go faster, then we should, once that just appears, we should, like, enter and exit the sphere of influence, kind of like this. So then we drag it up, and we should get a moment where we would collide with the moon, and then we go a little bit past it, right? Slowly, slowly, slowly. Where's our collision? Give me a collision. Okay, there it is. We shouldn't have to go that fast to do this. That doesn't, that doesn't track. Uh, I'm just going to put put it fast enough that we would go to the other side of the moon's orbit. Maybe that will get the job done. Crash 55, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm browsing in Seacan now, but it's kind of just a messy list. We've got 10 minutes till we burn. Um, let's warp to about here. Fantastic. Uh, let's face the maneuver node. Eventually. Kind of need to know what you want and then use Seacan to manage. Hmm. I mean, usually when you start a game you haven't played, or maybe you haven't played it in a long time. 
you realize you want a mod when either you're like, why doesn't the game let me do this? Or you see a cool mod on... Oh, I forgot to decouple this. Yeah, let's do that. Get rid of the fairies. Get rid of... Whoa, they just fell for no reason? Well, I'm glad they're out of the way. Get rid of this decoupler. And... For some reason there's still like a thing around our engines. I hope it works. I, I don't know why we've still got that around the engine. I hope it'll be functional. I don't have time to change it one more time this stream. And... I think we'll just wait for this burn. Unless I can do a ten times time warp? We need to... We need to aim at the maneuver node first, though. I can't be struggling to point at it when we get there. Space OCK.info. Fantastic. I don't understand why the autopilot is struggling so much to point at this maneuver node. Uh, it's getting there. The nose cone dropped surprisingly quickly. Yeah. Especially considering we're in orbit. It just suddenly plummeted. Like, they assumed that you're never going to drop it in space or so. Okay, our camera is all wrong now. That's... That's not great. What if I go control from here? That didn't seem to change anything. I've got 1 minute 45 till the burn. Control from here. And that's going to make it face the wrong way. No, 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 no. Control from here. And it didn't fix our camera issue. I, I don't know why we're now focusing on a space way back here for our craft. But I guess that's how it's going to be now. There is a D missing in the link, space dock. Oh, okay. All right. We'll just have to hope that other engine's gonna work. least we're finally pointing pretty much at the maneuver node. V to cycle views. Uh, none of them... None of them are close to our craft though. Light camera mode auto. Okay. El Horster. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think I can safely say I won't be streaming this after today. Not for at least, I imagine... I don't know, six months? A year? Maybe I should play KSP1 again. Alright, 10 seconds till we burn. And we should probably do this from the map. Because when we burned and then switched to the map earlier... Uh, it changed the maneuver node. Oh, what the f... Why is it spinning? What? What? I can't even look at the craft and tell what's going on with it. I 
I don't even know what's going on now. I, I mean, I know the craft is rotating. I wanted to have a look at it and try and tell if, like, the wrong engine is firing or some crap like that, but... I... Nope, this is... this is our moon mission. Don't know what to tell you. I think I saw the craft. There it is. It's vibrating uh, very oddly, or maybe the camera is. It's hard to say. The gimbal doesn't seem to be enough for the ship to gain control of itself. I, I don't know why. I could try thrusting every time it's kind of facing the maneuver node. Let's turn off the autopilot. Maybe it's doing something dumb. Maybe I can actually get it to behave. Nope. It's physics. It seems to be getting worse as I try to stabilize it. What if I try and turn it the wrong way? How much more fuel do we have in this section? Not that much. So what if we try and burn it off and then ditch it and then make some adjustments with our last stage, even though this stage was supposed to stay in space around the moon. Maybe I should time warp. What? Okay. I time warped. Um. What, what is happening? What is happening? Look at the kerbals. I time warped 10 by for just a moment to put it on rails to, to stop physics, right? And the moment that I restarted the moment that I restarted normal time, uh, the navball spun out like crazy and now the navball is frozen and the kerbals I can only guess are spinning at 1700 times per second that's some next level roller coaster you're now going 19 kilometers per second that doesn't sound good. Oh, isn't this nice? Yeah. Yeah, we've got, um... We've got... Several pieces of degree that are on a... That are on various... Perfectly straight line... Like, probably FTL trajectories. Um... Out of the solar system. That's, uh, that's, a, that's an experience. I wish I could even get the camera on these guys, like, on the pod. But, um, for some reason it takes a really long time to pan the camera angle. Yeah. But yeah, that's, uh, that's KSP2. New feature already, <laughs> going into Stella. Might end up on your Factorio world. 500 RPM and rising, indeed. We're gaining like... Holy crap. Oh, uh, whatever, we're, whatever we're tracking is slowing down at like... A third of a meter per second per second. It's currently 18,948. 
Kerbal Space Alpha. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Most expensive alpha I've ever seen. 1300 RPM, but the rate of increase. Yeah. Well, I don't really... I don't think it's really going to be worth trying again and again. Um, uh, it's it's about it's almost time to finish today anyway. This is where our capsule is now, by the way. Um, so that that circle there is that there is something probably a piece of debris like the uh, the decoupler from the front of the craft like the back of the lander. The decoupler is still in about the same orbit that we were before, so we can see where that is. And this is where we are now. Just, uh... Just vibing along in a straight line. It's magical, so beautiful, we'll never get as close to the Kraken. <laughs> Than an early accent. Put it on the shelf and be happy when you pick it back up in a year or two. Yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Alright. I'm going to start looking for someone to raid. Apparently as soon as the game loses focus, it's going to try... Oh no, we've still got... We've still got motion. Alright, fair enough. Should we look for someone playing KSP2? More Kraken... Uh, shenanigans? It is early access. The It's not an early access, but it'll feel like it no it is early access it's just uh it just costs as much as a full a full game release even though it's like three years what is it two or three years later than promised no worries australian man yells at physics sure See if we can chat there and stuff. I mean, that was a bit of a scuffed launch, but you get the point. It does quite well. I'm interested to see with the um, the Hujima flip, the frame rate is. The Hujima flip. Launch it, how much it goes down. All right. Because it's doing like a lot of. A lot of the old physics calculations. Actually, let me just have a quick check here. <laughs> let me just make sure we can chat oh. and everything like that. Seems good. Wait, what the hell? Quality seems fine. Okay, what setting got all screwed up in this? Because, yeah, it's not letting me do anything. Sounds like KSP2. All right. Let's raid this guy. 4,500 RPM. How does it keep accelerating? Kraken magic. Ian Newer. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, the game crashed on him. Nice. All right. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints for Factorio if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. We will be continuing with Factorio tomorrow. The state of the game has definitely made that decision easier than it might otherwise have been. And till then, do take care. Thanks for hanging out. Evil Plum, Ian, Ben Wu. See you next time. Not be watching any more of that? Fair enough. Alright, take care, guys.
of Heroes 3. Well, we'll check out Company. Uh, well, I'll be doing some more of that towards the end of the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brontosaurus hacks with the raid. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Thank you for the raid. 